have just left you in Asaba. And here you are writing in my father's house as if the whole hell has been let loose. Have you gone bananas? No, I haven't. You are the one who has obviously lost your sense of time. Well, I actually came here not to talk to you, but to address you right in the presence of your family members. It's quite unfortunate that your mother isn't here. But trust me, I will be back. For leaving my house without dropping my three million naira, girl, huh. I'm so gonna crush you. But you would do nothing, Coco. Just shut your mouth. You cannot do anything. <laughs> You know, when you refer to that, you just go ahead to exhibit your act of wickedness, which I know that runs through your veins. You are so heartless. Well, news flash. I just want to inform you that I have gone ahead of you to establish that our agreement is not admissible in court. Do you know why? Because it lacks human feelings. That's why. Will you close that quarter you call a mouth, you neat wit? Well, I haven't come here to discuss this crap with you because. You are obviously nothing. You are nothing to write home about. You are no class of mine. I've only come here to let you know that you have just three days. Three days to pay my three million naira. If not, <laughs> I will not only cripple this thing you call legs, I will also run you out of this country. Mark my words. I, you. I do not talk rubbish. I dare you, Coco. I do not brag. I mean every word of it. Stinking thing. I dare you, Coco. Coco, I dare you. Sister, wait, you, you don't, 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 don't. I dare you. Ibiara. Madam, it's good a thing you are here. What happened? I want you to advise that overripe thing over there. Look at her. Advise her. This daughter of yours. Advise her to pay me my money. I'm giving her just three days. Three days to pay me my three million naira. If not, it's gonna be mad. It's gonna be mad. I tell you, Coco, what rubbish? Mama, what is it? Please, tell me the truth. Did you steal her money? Please tell me. Because if you did not steal her money or hold anything that belongs to her, she won't come here to embarrass you. Yes. yes. Mama, are you actually asking me this question? No, yes. you just asked me this question. Mama, I did not take anything from Coco. I did not take anything from her. I don't steal. Then why is she accusing you that you steal her three million naira? What well, happened? I, I, I don't know. She needs to go and sort herself out with her three million naira. I do not have any business with her money. Are when I sure? left Coco's house to my friend's place, I went with only my clothes. Are you I sure? don't steal, Mama. I wasn't trained up that way. Are you sure? Mama, I do not pick things that do not belong to me, and you know it. I think we should go to the house and find out why she came here and embarrassed Takiru. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's not with her money, so we need to go down to find out. I just hope she has a tangible reason for embarrassing my daughter. Else, she will embarrass me also. Mama, you going to Hot Coco's place is a waste of time. Reserve that energy and strength. You don't even have enough. It's a waste of time, Mama, because I did not take anything from her. I don't know why you want to go to that place. No, and you too, you're even supporting Mama. Hey, Mama, you know what? Leave this matter for me. After all, it's between me and her. I will handle this matter myself. Mama, don't get involved, though. <laughs> and what do you think you can do to someone with money and influence? <laughs> Mama, where are you going to? Mama? Chica? <laughs> Mama? Hello? Hello there. Um, I'm sorry. We have to reschedule. 
Yes, I can't see you today anymore. Something just came up. I'll call you tomorrow, please. I beg you, please. Thank you. You paid your daughter to work for me. And she left what she was supposed to do and started doing something else. She has to pay for damages. That's final. But, but, Auntie, she said that she just went to ask Finn that the director wanted her to act in the same movie you were acting. Will you shut up? Did I take her to the CT to go act movies or to serve me rather? I don't care whatever she must have told you, but she has to pay for damages. She flaunted the agreement and she has to pay. But my daughter said she did not damage anything or hold anything that belongs to you. Oh, so you actually came here to ask me useless and stupid questions, right? You want me to send your daughter to prison? Is that what you want? It's not that I am here to ask you stupid questions. So, let me ask you, what did she damage? Can you tell us, please? Well, she signed an agreement to serve me for three years. And if she must leave before that three years, she will pay me three million naira. That was the agreement. It was written and signed. You should ask her. But she left. So she has to pay for damages. You said three million naira? I don't know what to say again now. You obviously do not know what to say because there is nothing, absolutely nothing for you to say. So just go. I'll look for her and get her my way and my time. Mama, hot cocoa is insane. She is stupid. Something is wrong with her upstairs. I am very sure. What's the meaning of that one now, Mama? I only accepted to be with her for three years. Certainly not as a servant. I cannot be her payee. She not rich. Is it by force? Ha! Yes. Let me ask you something. How can you sign such an agreement? Do you know what that means? If she takes you to court, she will win. Mama Beggy, she no fits. She, no she fit. cannot even take anything to court, Mama, because the agreement is not even admissible. It's not admissible in court. Yes, she knows it. I have done my findings, Mama. It has been confirmed to me that that particular agreement is not admissible. Period. She promised to be featuring me in movies, Mama. Only for her to keep me in her house and want to convert me to her slave. Eh? How is that possible? But did she include that in the agreement? Mm -hmm. Did she write it down that she will make sure you feature a movie? Mama, that is the more reason why I said that that agreement is not admissible in court. It is not. Yes, I did not read it. I, I, I was excited and I had to just accept. We agreed it. We agreed on it, but it, it doesn't mean that I have to go and be her slave. It's, it's, it's not, it doesn't make sense now, Mama. Sister, if she did not include it in the agreement, that means you're in trouble. You know, not call John. If I her. slap you, eh, you will shut your mouth. Why will you slap her? Can you get your Mama, why would she tell me to go and stab somebody? Because somebody she's somebody not here. saying it. Hey, hold me to go and stab somebody for what? Because she's, she's, Wait, she's a sister. Wait, let me ask you. Ah, there go. How can you sign an agreement? Without reading the agreement before signing it. Eh? Are you okay? Mama, it's okay. <laughs> enough is enough, I beg. What is all this one now? It's okay. Why are you, why? no, tell me, why are you signing hot cocoa, Mama? I know what Coco wants to do. She wants to silence my career, but let me tell her something. She's not my God. You know why? Because I've already started getting good, good jobs, good movie scripts, and I'm already working on my, my script writing, so she cannot stop me. Are you shouting at me? Mama, I'm not shouting at you. I'm telling you the truth. I cannot be a slave to hot cocoa. She's not rich. A home me, I don't think do one. Why would I, why would I be a PA? Ha ha! So if I'm talking to her, look at why, 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 I don't understand, Mama. You cannot walk. It's not possible. You cannot walk. I, mean, I cannot be her BA. So I can't get somebody, somebody of our, of our descent. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, let us go and sleep over it. Hopefully by tomorrow, I will, would have come out with something tangible or something good about it. Mm. Please, Mama, you're the one that wants to stress yourself. As long as I'm concerned. I am not owing hot cocoa. Me and I don't have any business. That's you, if you want to continue thinking about it, that's your own cup of tea. Come and sort your problems. Come and sort your problems. Why would I be happy? I want to know why I will suffer. Why you call Who the hell is hot cocoa? Me, suffer hot cocoa. Why are you calling me? 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 Why are you calling me?
Why are you not saying anything or didn't you hear what I said? Why are you asking me the impossible sister? What are you saying? Chica, I know how many times you've been singing into my ears in this house. That you want an opportunity to go to the city. So why are you rejecting it now that you have it? I, I, I want to go to the city because I want to act in films. I never told you I want to go down and become a servant to, to, to anyone. I never said you were going there to be a servant to anyone. Besides, it's not called servant, it's a personal assistant. P.A. It's not that bad now. That is what I want you to be to her, a personal assistant. That's all. But you were with her for just one year and you want me to do two years. Two more years, sister. I want you to stay with her because I'm sure before the two years elapse, I would have become a star. And then I'll come and take you out from there. Then I'll be able to have money to, to pay her off. Will you make me a star if you become a star? Yes. What is it? Sister, we're going back to Saba with you. Yes, sister. When I take you us to the city, you promise to take us to Asaba, make us stars. But you have not been saying anything concerning it lately. First of all, let me correct something. I have told you people to stop calling me sister, sister, as if I'm the firstborn of this family. For crying out loud, I am the last. Sister, please stop sounding like these villagers. It does not matter. Eh eh. Onye Uigu. You are the superstar of the family now. You are the one that brings the money. Sister, that does not even matter. Let's talk about this issue right now. Sister, when are you taking us to the industry? And when? Ha. I don't know why you're running faster than your shadow. I promised to take you to the industry and I will do that. Calm down. Sister, it's, it's over two years now. Two years you promised you are going to take us to the city. You even took uh, Nkiru to the city and I heard she's now acting movies. Yes, sister. This is not fair. You choose other people over your own sisters. What exactly are you people talking about? You're saying all this because you don't even know what Nkiru does in the industry. Nkiru belittles herself to sleep with anything around just to appear in movies. She sleeps with the directors, the producers and even the PAs. Just because she wants to act. Is that the rubbish you want to be doing? God forbid, Ivo. Oh. God forbid, though. Eh, sister, just take us. Take us to the city. We need to leave this village. Take us to the city. Even if you don't want us to be in the industry or acting movie. We are adults. We can take care of ourselves. Just take us to the city. Ah. You have to calm down. Honestly, at this point, you really have to calm down. I have my plans and I will certainly execute it. I will take you to the city when the time is right. Calm your nerves. I promise. I, I promise. I hope you're here with my money. That is why we are here. I, I am here to beg you to take Chika here in place of Nkiroka. My dear, Chika here is more hardworking and obedient than Nkiroka. See, Mama, I do not want to disrespect you. It is either Nkiroka comes to work for me or she pays for damages. Period. My daughter, please. Please, I beg you in the name of God, have mercy on a poor woman like me. Hmm. Eh? I don't have anything to give you. Please, Nkiruka is doing something else now. If you don't have money to give me, then sell your husband's land. Or better still sell that house, that's if it will be up to 3 million naira. Pay me my money, that's hey. all. Please, ma. My uncle has taken all soon? our lands and that house is the only place we have to stay. Listen, I am not enjoying this drama right here. I am honestly not enjoying it. Do you understand? 
coming? I shouldn't be having this conversation with the two of you. Where is Nkiruka? She should be here and not you. Oh, my daughter, please have mercy on a poor widow like me. Please, I don't have anything to give to you. I, like I told you before, Nkiruka is doing something else now. Please. It's time for me. Listen. Nkiru, you will continue to insult yourself and not me. Possibly because you think we come from the same village. But I'm telling you to your face here and now that if you continue like this, I will make sure that you never amount to anything as far as this industry is concerned. Is this why you called me? I mean, you called me out all the way from my house to this place to threaten me. I have no idea at all. Honestly, you don't. Meaning, Kiru, you have no idea whom you have messed with. I own the industry. I, Hot Coco, I own the industry and everything in it. Everything. Including the ones you have cheapened yourself to sleep with. Point of correction, Coco. I have never given myself to anyone. Everyone does not need to be. Don't touch shut me. Shut up. Everyone doesn't need to be like I said you. shut your mouth before I shut it up for you. Why don't you ask questions? Will you shut up? Shut up or I shut it up for you. I don't need to ask questions to get answers. Answers come to me freely without asking for it. And mind you, I have a dossier on you already. And if you continue like this, I am going to cripple that little career you think you already have. The last time I checked, Goku, you are not my goal. <laughs> you can never be. You think so? Well, because of your poor mother, I am going to take your sister here as my PA. And guess what? I am going to make her a star. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma. You don't have to thank me, my God. You honestly do not have to thank me. Celebrity status is all about helping people. And I'm already wired in doing that. Celebrity, my friend. Excuse me. Well, I'm going to forgive her because of your mother. Um, just go um, get ready, okay? Um, we are traveling tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sister. Concentrate on the neck region. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Thank you. I'm feeling very hot. Um, Chica! Ma. Come here, please. Where is my fan? It's in the car. my fan in the car whilst I'm here working? Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? Why are you so... Oh my God. Is this supposed to be in the car? No, ma. Oh goodness. Where did I pick this girl from? Oh. Uh, it's just obvious to me right now that dullness runs in your lineage. Now get out. Out! You know what? I am not comfortable around here and... Costumia, where is the costume? You know what? I am not going to film with this costume because it doesn't tally with the character. Director, I'm sorry, I'm not going to shoot with this. I'm telling you right now, I won't. What's all this? So obviously, no one is talking to me like I'm running mad or I'm blabbing, right? Okay, fine. I am sorry to disappoint you, director. I am not going to be in this scene until you do what I say. Excuse me.
Some people are just so heartless. Can you imagine? She slapped the little girl just because she forgot her fan in the car. I'm not surprised. That girl is worse than the devil. Jesus Christ. She starved her PA the whole day yesterday just because of a little mistake. You're not serious. Honestly, I wonder what she feels like. I mean, who the hell is she? You know what? I don't blame her. The costumier and the makeup have been attending to her all day. She is so ungrateful. Jeez. Continuity. Give me another scene to shoot. Yes, sir. Director, another scene to shoot? This is not fair. Totally unacceptable. Wait, are you suspending this scene just because of one person? Director, director, as you can see, we are ready for this scene. Exactly. What do you expect me to do? Shoot the scene without her? Look, I need to teach that girl a lesson. Enough of this madness. Director, I'm sorry to interrupt, but, but, but if this continues, it means today would have been wasted because judging from the schedule we have today, there's nothing more we can shoot without her. PM, do you expect me to teach you your job? It is your duty to restore sanity on this set. I only come in when necessary. So do your job. What's going on? Are we not filming anymore? The show must go on. We will film when they decide. What do you mean like that? can be very lousy and dull. She deserves more than a slap. If I were in your shoes, I would do worse. And what about the costume? I wonder where she learned her work from. All her costume is rubbish. God! Does Job deserve a good costume that knows her work? Oops. My dear, don't just mind them, okay? They want to spoil your day. <laughs> but they can't do that. Oh. They obviously can't. I don't take huh. rubbish from anybody. What is going on here? Was they try anything the same people I thought would be out here fighting. How come is it that they are gisting instead? The hot cocoa herself. Baby girl. The only celebrity with class. Mm -hmm. After me. My sweet hot chocolate. Oh yeah. Baby, baby. girl, I they feel you now. 24-7. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but truth be told, girl. You look so gorgeous in this costume. Honestly. Are you serious about that? I'm mm. telling you, can't you see? Yeah. On point. So I can actually film with this? So perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, let's work. Sure. <laughs> what's up, girls? What's going on? Why are we not filming anymore? Excuse you. I hope you're not expecting any one of us to answer that silly question of yours. Well, if you must know, I am the reason we stopped filming. And yes, I have changed my mind. So we can film now. She's a hot girl. Hey, hey, hey. She's a hot girl. Hey, hey, hey. Her body go keep personal. Hey, hey, hey. Her body go Girls, what's going on? What's she talking about? My dear, it is the game of the entertainment world. You either learn the act of switching 
or it will forever be your greatest undoing. Trust me. Game. What is she talking about, please? What does she mean by the word games of knowledge? I don't what's, what's ability going on? to switch mood. <laughs> now you girls are confusing me. Mm. Can you break it down for me? What's going on here? <laughs> My dear, you should know when to follow the crowd and when to remain firm. Mm -hmm. You should learn that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's go, girls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Let me confirm, really. Confirm. Sound, are you good? I'm good, sir. Continue to slay the scene. Okay. Medium shots take once in twelve. In character. Action. Cut, 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 cut everything. Mr. Neat, what is your problem? You were supposed to kiss her. That's the same. Are you serious right now? Huh? Dear, dear, how do you expect me to kiss this person? I, I cannot kiss her, director. You're joking, right? Come on, director, I can't do that. Take, take a good look at me. How do you expect me to kiss someone like this? I, I mean, no offense, director. I mean, no, but I cannot do it. You people should have cast someone of the same class for the role, or better still, someone more presentable. I, I, I'm sorry, director, but I cannot do it. I can't kiss her. Mr. Neat. Yes, baby. The most handsome, cute, hot, fresh, and sexy guy in Nigeria. Should have at least allowed the poor girl to kiss you. For you have no idea how long she's been yearning for that. Mr. Nid, honestly, I don't like what you just did. The same opens with the kiss. So what are you talking about? Then, director, you people have to look for another cast because I cannot kiss this person. I can't do it. Oh, please, let's just forget about all this. Truth be told, director, this girl does not suit this character. Should have at least looked for someone more classy and presentable, and not someone like this. Oh, please, can you just stop? Does it mean you no longer know your bounds? You are, not, you are now teaching me my job. She's the perfect cast for the role. I gave her the role because she acts very well. The makeup and the costume designer did a good job by dressing her properly. Yes. The role suits her, so I, I don't understand. I must confess that the makeup and the costume did a very great job on her. But that does not remove the fact that her body and mouth are not well sanitized. Oh! Listen to me, please. This must not happen again. If you're unfortunate enough to find yourself in my bad book, you wouldn't like the experience. I'm sorry, oh my god, this is what happens when they want to reap where they never sowed. Nonsense, out of rubbish. That's how we do it, baby. Who cares? Please, stop crying. You are giving them more power over you. I can bet you that all this were planned simply to frustrate you. Do not play into their hands. They are not better than you. Oh no. You can't say that, Vanessa. I am a nobody. Daughter of a nobody. Whilst they are stars. They still are better than them. I'm just an upcoming actor. Just an upcoming actress. How am I better than them? I can't do this. They were upcoming as well. Do not allow their ill manners to pull you down. You will grow better and bigger. <laughs> With what is happening here? I don't think so. Why would you say a thing like this? You're a wonderful writer, a talented actor. You are more beautiful than all of them. So what makes you think you won't get better and bigger? Even more beautiful than old Coco? Hmm. Ah, 
Listen, it's just that I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm doing all my best, but it's just as if I'm not... There's nothing to show for it. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I believe in you. Vanessa, it's not as if I don't believe in myself. I just that I, I... So thing is... It's so tough for me. I was not expecting it to be this hard. As a matter of fact, I'd rather quit, seriously. If it was easy, it would be a child's play. Just go in there. Let them know you are not to be played with. The director believes in you. That is the most important thing. So, let's go. I look at her back. Look at her back. Down for garage. Everybody go to follow. Ah, look at her back. Like Nikki Menard. Hello, my sweeties. Yes, it's your unlimited worldwide cold call. Call to the call. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Hope you guys are great. Oh my god. Okay, you know what, my darlings? I'm going to speak to you much later. Yeah, I wanted to spend more time with you guys, but no, director wouldn't let me. So I will film right now and I'm gonna come back much later to talk to you guys. I love you plenty. Kiss kiss. Love love. To you. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Your limited hot cocoa. Oh uh, yeah. And I've been wanting to ask you, um, how do you guys cope with these everyday live videos and all the stuff you do with your fans? <laughs> what would you have me do, my darling? I mean, I have to do what I have to do, okay? I have to show these people that I truly love them. I have to give them contents, something they would appreciate about me, you know? So, a girl has to do what she has to do to remain relevant in the showbiz. Yeah, you're right, but all this stuff is not my thing. I don't really enjoy doing them. It is obviously not your thing because you do not have the kind of fan base that I have. Because if you do, you have to do it. You have to please them. You have to try not to offend anyone. So it's basically like that. Okay. Yeah. It work out for me. Hot cocoa or whatever you call yourself. Now you listen to me. You should learn to mind your damn business. And as for you, Mr. Neat, <laughs> I don't see anything neat about you. But all the same, I think you lack manners. You need to learn how to talk to people. Maybe your mother did not train you well. You should watch your mouth when you're talking to me. Else! Else what? You disgusting <laughs> dirty pig! That was what? Huh? I don't understand what just happened. I mean, what's the meaning of this nuisance you're portraying right here? Have you lost your mind or something? Oh! I already forgot. So because you give yourself to those cheap producers and directors, and they give you waka pass role, you think you now have the strength and the boldness to stand right before me and spew when I talk. Well, at least I am better than you, Coco. Look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You call yourself a star, a celebrity. Yet you sleep around with sugar daddies, follick around, moving from one prick to another just to be able to maintain your standard. Look at you. Your mother is in the village, suffering, soaking Gary, eating rubbish food from one mango tree to another, and here you are claiming to be a star. Will you shut up? Have you lost your sense of time or what? What do you think of yourself to stand before me and talk rubbish? Are you mad? Eh? I will. Vanessa, leave me alone! Will you just shut up and get out from here? Huh? Look, something wrong with you? You are crazy! How do you raise your hands on me? Leave me alone, Vanessa! Stupid girl! Can you imagine? Can you imagine this brat I picked from the village? This unfortunate bitch! To help you and your entire generation, and you here talking back at me? Can you imagine the impetus? But that reminds me. She used to be your PA, right? Yes. She was my PA. Worked for me. I did virtually everything for her. But no! What do I get? This thing I picked from the village, what do I get? Insult upon insults. I don't blame you. You are so wrong. You were not supposed to slap her. Who's that? That's what I said this. Shut up and get her from here. What? what is the meaning of the... Oh, you have mouth to talk to me? Uh, I know how to handle things like you. You know what? I'm not going to work with her again. Oh, please. No. Please. Never will I. She's losing her job. Oh, my gosh. 
Wait, you mean no one recorded that scene? That would have been a big tent to that over pompous hot Coco's name. Wait, someone was telling her her fault to her face and she had the nerves to slap that person. Ah, that would have been a very big step in bringing that girl down. That ah. girl is worse than the devil. I told you girls, she is bent on bringing that poor girl down. This girl we're talking about is a star. Well, she's just jealous of this poor girl. I mean, this is pure wickedness. Listen, babes. She just cannot accept the fact that a girl she brought from the village as her PA finally resigned and is now doing so well to the extent of playing a sub lead in a movie that she is also in. I mean, this is a bitter pill for her to swallow. Yeah. Ah, oh God, I missed. I missed. You did, honestly. Oh, you did. I did been I was there. I would have recorded everything. What's going on there? Hey, sis. What's up? What am I hearing? Uh, my love. Are you okay? I'm perfectly fine. What are you talking about? I heard that that girl you picked from the gutters insulted you. Honestly, dear, you really need to do something about that little brat. I mean, she cannot be bigger than her boss. Never. Why are you guys worrying yourselves over nothing? Nkiruka, you shouldn't worry yourselves about her. I am definitely going to send her back to the village where she came from. Mm. If I do not do it, the no is that I'm not the enigma called hot cocoa. Wow. Now you're talking. <laughs> my baby, my baby. I trust mm. you. Mm -hmm. I know what she can do. Of course. Now let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. hmm? I can help you in any way you want me to help you. I support you 100%. That if girl needs to be sent back to the gutters where she belongs. And if there is any way you want me to teach her a lesson, do not hesitate to call on me, sis. Honestly, this girl shouldn't be a topic amongst us, honestly. Her better thing to discuss, not Nkiru. She's not worth being a topic, please. <laughs> Can we talk about something else? Okay. So where have you guys been? Life in the industry, fake life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. Yeah. Some are get, they act, they no get. Why some no get, they act like they get. Everyone knows the I can't one. believe that the director had to strike the set because of her. Hmm. What would you have them do? I mean, you, you do not even have to blame the director or the producer because she's the lead artist. And besides, they can't even remove her because she's already established some scenes. Even at that, they wouldn't have replaced her. I think there are no better actors to play the role. Well, my dear. Welcome to our own world, where professional rules are being suspended. So are you going to apologize to her like she demanded? <laughs> my dear, the producers can bang anyone. Anything can happen in the States. I know. But there are limits to everything. Someone slapped you and you did not slap back and they expect you to apologize? What exactly are you apologizing for? You know, this whole thing is nonsense to me. It does not even make one single sense. But it's all right. I will apologize. <laughs> but that is after I might have given her a very hot slap of her life. You will do what? Just like you said. I should have at least what I'm apologizing for, right? That's what I'm trying to do. I have this feeling that already hasn't the slap in your head. Please, make it hot and let it come unexpected. My dear, the slap will come when it's supposed to. But for now, I think I have to seize this opportunity, I mean, to use this break time to go see my mother. I need to see her and know how she's faring. Her health is important to me. I wish my village was closed too. I would have gone home to see my mom. Oh. Uh, listen to me. I, listen, you just listen to me. You see, 
in as much as I wouldn't want to say this, but the truth has to be said. 80% of actors in this business are not professionals. Of course, they're not well bred. A lot of them are not supposed to be in this business. Okay, how else do you explain a situation where she's asking you to pay her, whereas she's not done with me? She, or say better anything. She hasn't done anything. Yes, I had to strike this set because of the, the confusion they created on the set, just to douse the tension. Honestly, she's not my cast. Problem casting, yeah? The producer engaged and paid her. You know the way they behave now? Yes. They are my man. The only thing I will advise you is to get another person and film your stuff. Why not just say your film? I believe in grooming other people, eh? Yes, of course. Give other people the opportunity to excel. Nguan Gordon, Dalo. I brought you fruits. You need to get up and eat. Please don't come and pretend as if you care. I called you, you and your sister since last week. What if I died before you came back? Hey, Mama, God forbid. Why are you calling death now? Mama, you will not die. It's not your portion. At least not for now. Mama, I'm sorry I could not leave set. I was filming and you know it. And I sent Chica down here to come and take care of you. What else do you want from me? What business are you talking about? Huh? Uh, at least your sister being paid. And she sends money to me. Unlike you, who have choose to waste away. Mama, please. Huh? Mama, stop it. You are sick and yet you still have the strength to cost someone. I am not a, I'm not a waste face. I, I refuse to, to, to accept that. Very soon I'll start receiving enough money for my career, Mama. You have to be patient. This is exactly what I have been hearing for two good years now. Eh? Uh, you are useless to this family if you don't know. You can't participate in anything in this house. Now let me ask you something. When are you going to leave that your useless acting and look for a job that will pay your bills? A job that will give you money? Eh? Tell me. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Mama. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Chica, please help me talk to Mama. I brought her fruits, but she says she's not eating it. Uh, Maybe you really want to make her eat it all. You need to put something in your stomach. You can't be taking me this morning to stomach, please. Just get up and manage to eat. Even if it a little bit. Even you if you need to take it, so you'll be fine. Please. I'm not paying you how to run my life. So I really want to come back and take care of mom. Let's face it, you contribute nothing in this house. Hey, hey! Chica, so you now have the mouth to talk back at me. Let me remind you something. You see this job you're blabbing about? All one you is saying no. I was the one that gave you that job. I sent you to that place to come to go and work for somebody, not to become a slave for a servant. And now you have to go leave her to talk about me. Again. See, let me tell you, you better go and apologize to her. You know she can turn everyone against you. She can even tell you to stop giving you jobs. So you better swallow your pride and apologize to her. Oh my god, beautiful speech. So she sent you to come and tell me this. <laughs> well, it's obvious. Help me tell her that she can drive to hell and never come back. Because me, <laughs> I will not never apologize to her. I will not. Enough of this! Hey, if you are here to stress me, my dear, you better go back to the city. Yeah. Why are you saying it? I'll visit this way. I don't understand. Am I the only one that came from the city? Why would you? Mama, don't know that I won't Even though you are saying she's not right. We have that got you. You have nothing to your name. 
Now the only link you have to witness is want to destroy it because of your pride. Mama, please. Don't say this to your sister. No, Mama, leave her. Let her talk. Continue talking. It is just one horse slap in my life that you do now, eh? No, you can't walk. That walk is all that. You know what to make it. Kiru, Mama, let her talk. Let her insult me. Hey. But you were here, you heard what she was telling me now. Kiru, you heard what she was Mama, is not doing that. Shut up, Mama. Try this back and go inside and come and prepare something for Mama. If the shin me, you better come and take care of Mama. You don't have the mouth to talk because you don't work in the city. I have suffered. Mama, you, you, you heard that? You heard that, Mama? Stupid daughter of a useless mother. You were in that. That didn't just go inside. No, wait, wait, wait. What? So wait. You were in that. Chica, leave her. Leave her. You think it's by sleeping around with those fools to mm. get the room? Oh. I will just disfigure this your useless. Kawasiya <laughs> garu. Kawasiya garu. So that your workless is that I cause myself hot couple. Sent both of you to come and insult me in my own father's house. Now, Ben Nampa. My dear, our star girl, our hot cocoa, does not have your time. She cannot stoop as low as whatever you think. We have come here on our own. Get here, girl, go for one. To be careful. Be careful in this Be careful. If I'm not careful, what will happen? Leave her. Do your work. Leave her. What can you do? Just leave her. Leave her. Want to go to jail? Not me and you. Uh -uh. We just have to look for a way to do something that nobody will know that we did. You know? Uweleha. Pour her acid. Give what? her better. Yes. Better acid bath. Joy is gone. What? Bring your voice down. You want another person to hear what we're saying. What if she dies? It's not good. The acid does not kill someone. It will make her look very ugly, which is the reason why we're doing it in the first place. So, if I may ask, how do you get I leave that to you. No worry. I'll handle it. I'll take care of you. So, those lunatics came to our father's house. Call those all sorts of names, including bastard. You could not do anything, Chica. You were just moving at them like, like, like a moron. Or kid, is this how you are? Wait, oh. Has Hot Coco brainwashed you? No one brainwashed me. I just can't allow you to destroy my future, never. Did I, wait, did I hear you say, who is your future? See, Hot Coco promised to make me a star, if I'm loyal to her. And I can't just allow you to spoil it for me. Better go and make peace with them. Beg her, apologize to her, and be submissive to her. Hey! Hey, oh. You are really a big fool. Your foolishness is in the dictionary. I can't say I'm disappointed. I'm not surprised. You actually think that Hot Coco will make you a star? Is she God? Why are you claiming her? Well, I don't understand. Why you make her look like she's your Alpha and Omega? I never say she's a God. You're the one that's making that one up. Huh. Chica, open your eyes before it becomes too late. Hey! What has this girl given you? Hot cocoa, your god. 
my dear, let me tell you something you do not know. When God decides to bless someone or to make someone a star, no human being on earth pulls that person down. Because God cannot do anything for you. Ha ha! Wake up! You're the one that needs to wake up. I mean, look at us. Look at yourself. Tell me, do you like what you're seeing? The earlier you realize that hot cocoa is our only solution to make it in that industry, the better. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 who is, who, who is your all and all? And let me tell you something that you do not know. All the directors have told me that I act better than your hot cocoa. Let me tell you something. I am just hoping on God. One day he will make it for me. Do you understand? I don't need you or your hot cocoa to, for me to become a star. Keep trusting in human beings. Star girl, I heard you. Keep deceiving yourself. I'm gonna meet, meet your auto to give you food. Don't be stupid, care. But you know what your sister is doing is wrong. And you're still here in my compound supporting her. Mm, I'm not supporting her. But I'll put that to one of the justice. But you know my sister, that's the one she She refused. Our sister told us that she likes. That she will make you a star. If only in the Melonia tools. But it's obvious done to be a star. Don't talk like that. I, I want to be a star. I, I, I'm loyal. You're loyal. Okay, this is what you're going to do for us. Hmm? From today, you will be telling us, you will tell us firstly when she's traveling back to the city. Hmm? You will tell us when she normally strolls around the village. That's number two. Number three, you will tell us when she normally goes to the market. Obucha, is that okay? Very simple. Agreement, though. But my sister is angry with me. Eh? What's the angry concern? And what is our business with your sister being happy with us or not? We know they see your sister. I have an affair. Then I make she go sit down. We don't see her. Mm. Like, oh, we should be telling her. What actually is the problem? Why is the crayfish, that small crayfish in your father's house, what is that problem? Why is she angry with us? She's angry because what is the smallest in the family. She's actually your sister. Okay, let me clear. You want to know why we are referring her to her as sister? That is because hot cocoa is the hot cocoa of our family. The other girl, hot cocoa is the breadwinner. The hottest. Oh, the hottest cocoa in the world. Oh, oh, celebrity. Oh, hey. Celebrity. Hey. So unshakable. That alone is enough for us to even worship her. Unshakable hot cocoa. It's not your business. Unquenchable hot cocoa. But wait, let me ask you. This is your sister that you are even talking about. What has she done to your family? Nothing. You never know about your sister. Then you start to pack well. Make sure she sit down for God and we know they see her. Hey. Make sure she sit down for God and who she has. Hey. Sister. 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 There's an emergency meeting that I need to attend. Uh, is it not too late? Mama, it's not late. The earlier I start going, the better. Are you sure? Are you sure, Mama? I'll call you. Oh? Don't tell me you're going back to Asa. Oh, the kids are talking, Ma. Who are you asking that question? Am I your mate? So I don't take care of Mama. Then I have to come back home. Now what? Not to make us to leave this house. First thing tomorrow morning, you know. But she said it's urgent. My own is emergency. I don't take care of you. Please, Mama, 
That you're one man that knows how to dole out money. <laughs> you sure do. I want you to calm down. Keep it down. Because what I do to you in two hours, some babes out there cannot even do it in a week. <laughs> Just give me some time, let me freshen up. Okay? My beautiful celebrity. Chief Chief. <laughs> You will understand why I'm called Hat Coco. Hat <laughs> Coco. I will never have enough of you. Hot Coco. <laughs> I did nothing to her. I did not even say one single word. She was the one that slapped me, and yet I was forced to go and apologize to her. Why? Why, Vanessa? My dear. I was the one who was humiliated here. It is wise for you to have done that. You can't allow pride to stop you from moving higher. The producers have already discussed the apology on their platform. So you have an edge. Don't care. This is wrong, Vanessa. This is so unfair, you know it. Why do I have to go to someone who slapped me to apologize to her? Why? It's all right. In this industry, that animal was still trying to get. My dear, had it been failed to apologize, they would have brought another person to play that role. So you did the right thing. Okay? Vanessa, Jeez. She would have been in everyone's bad book by now. She would have come off as arrogant. And that was exactly what I wanted to achieve. Um, I don't understand. I wish she never apologized. I wish she, she ignored everyone right there and walked away. That would have been it. I would have used that opportunity to destroy her right from there. Girl, you are mean. No, be at the upper game, mom. You really mean business for this girl this time. You do. And Kiroka is just too small. That I, Hot Coco, will return her to the village where she came from. 
I will send her back to nothingness. I'll do that. Yes, girl, you sure need to cut those wings of hers. I mean, she said she would make sure that you pay for everything you did and that she wouldn't stop until the old world sees you for who you are. Isn't that funny? She is talking nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. What can she do? Obviously, nothing. <laughs> that girl needs to be taught a lesson. Honestly. Exactly, sis. She needs to be taught a lesson. Any day when you a plasma TV, go kidye. You need to show her some skills. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. Of course, my darling. You shouldn't worry yourself, okay? You know me. When I say I got something, I really got it, okay? So this one is nothing. So what? That hot cocoa. Baby girl. I know what you can do. <laughs> High five. So what would I give you? What would I get for you guys? Well, any red wine can do. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, champagne for me, please. No problem. I have everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rubbish. You see, Kiruka, she is taking over. She is. Sorry to disturb you, Mr. Director. I mean, we're already tired of waiting. Everything is already set, sir. So, why are we not filming? What? Call the PM for me. Okay. Sir. Assistant PM. Sir. Is she here? Um, no, sir. Have you called her? Yes, I did. Uh, I called her 10 minutes ago and she said she was on her way. What is wrong with that girl? Why would she keep us here for three hours for no reason? I called her first thing this morning. She never told me she'd be coming late or something. Does it mean we don't have other scenes to shoot? Uh... No, sir. No, sir. She's in all the remaining scenes in this episode. What kind of temptation is this? Eh? Why would that little brat hold an entire production to ransom? Oh, yeah, Kobo. I won't buy small Richard. I am sure one of our clients came into town. And she's probably receiving a second or third orgasms as we speak. Before we call. That one? She's probably banging someone's husband. Later, she will come for me, self-made, Jesus' baby, from zero to hero, deceiving people's daughters all over the internet. And those poor fans of hers will be there asking God why, when, bra bra bra, without knowing that their so-called role model banged her way out of her poverty. Come on, girls. Come on. I mean, give her a break. Okay, what if she is working on another movie set? Have you guys thought about that? Yeah. You know how some of these people are? Accepting so many jobs, thereby frustrating other people. Uh -uh. No way. The old Coco that I know would never accept two jobs at the same time. Really? Of course. She can lure you into paying her for the job, but she wouldn't resume that job until she finishes the one she's doing. And the hot cocoa that I know told me that she will never sleep with someone's boyfriend. So, what are you guys talking about? She would definitely deny that. That same hot cocoa told me that she would never in this life do anything with a married man or go do runs because of money. Not until that lady came here begging her with her kids to leave her husband alone. In front of everybody. <laughs> Please. Are you for real? That girl is a bloody lie. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder why this guy is always on the phone. Oh? Huh? Always moving from pillar to post. Forming busy. Making stupid calls. 
emerald. Please, cut the poor guy some slack. Yes, he is only trying to survive. I mean, can't you see how hungry he looks? He is just hustling. Oh, but seriously, why is it that this guy and whatever he does, the Yahoo thing, can even pay him well? At least to get some good perfume and nice clothes. Look at the way he looks wearing those rats. Wait, a are you trying to say that he is into Yahoo? Eh? You know, no. <gasps> a classless one at that. Listen, you know that's not possible. I can't come back to the shop. No, I left the shop a while ago. And when my boys are there, they'll attend to you. No, no. But you can manage that one for now. My goods are on the way. As soon as they come, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm on set. I can't come back to the office now. My boys will attend to you. The same thing I said, manage that one for now. As soon as my goods arrive, I'll let you know. I can't lie to you, my warehouse is empty. Yes, my goods are on the way. As soon as they arrive, I'll let you know. All right, it's not a problem. All right, I'll talk to you soon. You are sorry. You do something wrong and then the next thing you come back and tell people sorry? And you expect everything to go back to normal. Are you for real? Can you just calm down, please? I mean, I can't just wake up and decide to hurt anyone. Oh. No, I won't do a thing like that. Oh, really? Can you just calm down? Uh, why are you taking this out of proportion? She was meant to slap you. Will you keep quiet? Who invited you into this? Wretched fool. But Coco, honestly, I don't like what you just did. What's the meaning of this? I am not happy. I mean, what right does she have to lay her filthy hands on me? How else do you expect her to interpret the role well? How? No, no one does that. I mean, no one does that. She actually slapped me. Oh my goodness. You know what, director? I'm not going to be on the set again. Never. Not fear. Chica! Uh -huh. oh. um, director, I think you're becoming too soft and set. Have you seen how these pretenders to the throne have taken your leniency for granted? You're being too soft on this set, director. Honestly, it's not cool. You should strike. I like what you just said. Lenience, that's the word. So allow me to handle it my own way. Uh, please, everybody cut, I beg. Cut. Oh, no matter what I meet, right on my way to see my destiny. Hey, girl. That slap was too hard. What were you even thinking? Vanessa, did you read the script at all? Because if you did, you would have seen it clearly written there that Belinda landed at a very hot, pretty, sweet slap. And that was what I did. I know. But you would have minded it a little. Mind it for what? I needed to give the viewers something real. Hello? Would you want me to ruin my acting career because I was trying to mind the slap? for some stupid thing. <laughs> it's just me and you here. Tell me the truth. Why did you give her such a hot slap? Because she deserves it. I mean, she deserved worse than the slap. How else do you expect me to vent out my, my frustration if not through the, through the slap? <laughs> I had to give it to her. Bad girl. 
But that was unfair. She will sure see a doctor for that. Ah, she's lucky it's just a one take. The director would have made it a two or three takes. Wait, wait, wait. I would have slapped the living daylight out of her head. Are yeah, you planning to give her another slap? Before, Uncle. <laughs> uh -huh. Nikiru! Coco, my food. Hey, my God. Maybe next time I will use the back, I mean the back side. <laughs> Stupid thing. Hey, bad girl. No matter what I meet, right on my way to see my destiny going on, I will keep on going on. It Listen to me, Mr. Patrick. Can you just allow me talk? Can you just allow me? Can you just allow me talk? Listen, I hate when people make me feel as if I'm a fool, as if I don't know what I am doing. I'm a self-made man here. I made this money myself. I became an importer myself. That I now decided to start acting doesn't mean I'm a fool. This is something I've had passion for. This is something I've always wanted to do. I don't know how else to explain this thing to you. I have a warehouse. I have boys running it for me and they've been running it well. If, uh, Mr. Patrick, can you listen to me? Please, if you want us to do business, go over to my warehouse. My boy, my boy, yes, my boys will attend to you. I am on set, Mr. Patrick. I can't leave here. It's part of the ethics of the job. You cannot leave set until the PM or the producer asks you to go. I can't leave. That's what I'm saying. My boys are capable. They've been doing this thing for a while now and they've been doing it perfectly. Go over to them. They will attend to you. I don't know when I'm leaving here. I'm sure I'm going to be here tonight. Yes, go over to my boys. Go to the warehouse. They'll attend to you. All right, I'll call you back. Yeah. I'll keep on going on It doesn't matter all the obstacles I meet Ah, here you are I've been looking all over There is nothing It's about what happened in there Don't take it to heart. It's one of those things you see on set, especially as an outcome. You want to know the truth? You are good. I mean, you're an amazing act. You know, she sees you as a competitor and that's why she overreacted. Else, there was a need for all that drama. But you know her name. <laughs> drama doll, drama doll, the arts coco and all that. You get used to things like that. But trust me, keep working, keep working. You. You'll be greater than her if you work hard enough. Trust me. Thank you. Thanks. So, my name is Robert. Robert <laughs> Peters. Everybody knows Robert. Everybody knows you. Uh, it's only normal for a civilized man to introduce himself properly to a woman. And not assuming he's already known. <laughs> well, that makes you a gentleman unlike some people. Claiming to be Mrs. or whatever. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Uh, okay. Uh, I like you. I don't understand. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't get. What exactly don't you get? I just said, I like you. Um, I meant it when I said it. <laughs> Listen to me, Mr. Robert. You are a celebrity. You can get whatever girl, I mean, whichever girl that you want. Why me? I'm just an upcoming actress, a oh, daughter of a nobody. Come on. There's nothing about me to like. We all have a beginning. <laughs> no one came from everyone. So it doesn't matter who you are now. What matters is who you will be tomorrow. I like you. I meant it, I like you. I think we should, we should get to know each other and then probably pick it up from that offset, you know? Mm -hmm. Listen, I had a very rough day. Like, today has been so rough for me and I don't think I'm in the mood to discuss this now. Maybe some other time, please. Excuse me. Oh, no matter what I meet, right on my way to see my destiny going on. I'll keep on going on 
It doesn't matter all the obstacles I meet, I will keep on going on. Going on. Nothing. Ah, did you see Robert? He was looking for you. Don't tell me you were the one that told him where I was sitting. Is there anything wrong with that? I thought he wanted to tell you something very important. Well, all thanks to you. He never mentioned anything important apart from me dating or becoming his girlfriend. Wow, but that is nice. Robert is a very nice person. And he is the most humble celebrity we have here. I do not care about his humility. I care about his pocket, I mean his standards. I, I can date someone like that. I don't understand. What is there for you not to understand, Vanessa? I mean, I come from a poor background, right? I need someone who can be able to take care of me, my family and other things. Not someone who is almost like, who's just a little bit above my standard. But Robert is comfortable. He drives a nice car, and I am sure he has his own apartment. Oh please, what apartment are you talking about? You mean he's rented apartment and then the car is managing? You see what I am talking about? Listen, if I was like Hot Cocoa and other rich celebrities, yes, maybe I would have obliged him, but for now, sorry girl, I can't. Cabbage, period. Baby girl, when are you coming back? Please clean the faucet when you return. All right. Baby girl, when are you coming back? Please clean the faucet. Faucet, please. <clears throat> Baby girl, 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 girl. Hello, baby girl. Baby girl, when are you coming back? Please clean the faucet when you return. When you return, 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 okay? Return, okay? Baby girl, when are you coming back? Please clean the faucet when you return. Go. Ah! Oh. Good. That's for them not easy, honestly. Okay, let me go again. Baby girl. When are you coming back? Please clean the faucet when you return, right? Faucet. Please clean the first please clean the faucet when you return. Okay. <coughs> well done, no. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in set for the whole day? Sydney, the question should be what were you doing? Sydney, don't tell me this is how you learned how to speak ah so pray so pray so pray. And here you are lying to us that you spent most of your life in the US. Come on, baby girl. Why would you say such a thing? Listen, I am doing all of this because of my next job. Alright? Wow! Did you just say next job? Babe, whose job? Whose job? Mm -hmm. uh, the job is owned by one... Um, what was that name? One is owned by one... Um, Sydney. Uh -uh. You mean to tell me that you don't even know the name of the owner of the job you are about to do? Okay, you're not even done with the one you are doing. And here you are rehearsing this one. Sydney, excuse me, please. What is it? I owe you no explanation. Do you understand? You are not my manager. I don't even know why I'm answering you. Oh, really? I'll be inside. Sydney. Hey. Hey. 
Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Oh yeah, it's your worldwide unlimited Coco, Co to the Co. And yes, I brought something awesome for you guys. I have something coming up very soon. And I would want to reveal it to you once I'm back from my Paris vacation. And yes, do not worry yourselves. I'm going to show you exciting locations, beautiful places, places you would love. Okay? Yes. And as for the giveaway, do not worry yourselves. Once I'm done with this live stream, I'm going to start dropping it. You guys will smile with me. <laughs> Oh, you like what I'm wearing? Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much. Don't worry, stay tuned for the giveaway. All right? I am going to be back like I never left. Love you guys. Love you, my fans. Mm -hmm. And what is the meaning of this embarrassment? What, what is this? Why were you pouring dirty saliva all over the place? Will you shut up? Who permitted you to yearn? You were only yearning. Who asked you to? I'm, I'm very hungry. I've no eaten since morning. You're hungry? If you were in the village, wouldn't you be at the farm on an empty stomach? Don't even try this nonsense with me again. Rubbish. She's a hot girl. Hey, hey. Ma, please, sh sh should I eat the jollof rice in the pot? Yeah. This guy is very stupid. Should you eat the jollof rice in the pot? If you eat it and I become hungry, what will I eat? Huh? Ah, get away. Stupid thing. Everybody got the follow. She's a celebrity with a difference. With a difference. I asked you to teach Kiruka a lesson. I asked you to make sure that she will return with a disfigured face. And what did you do? Sister, we are sorry. We are sorry. We tried everything we could. See, sister, you needed to see our plans. We planned it very well. Acid. We wanted to destroy that girl, to destroy her entire generation. But I don't know what happened. She escaped it. She left before we could get to her. Sorry, sister. Be cool. I don't want excuses. That girl is becoming a thorn on my flesh. Simple thing I asked you to do. You couldn't do it. You couldn't deliver and you want me to bring you to the city. Hey, hey, sister, sister Bikomu, please, sister, we are very sorry. Eh? We promise to deliver next time. Trust us, we will deliver. We will. Bikomu. Till then. Sister is not happy with us, so she's not. And you know what this means? Ha. We have to try everything possible to make her happy this time around. Me, I want to go to the city. I don't want to risk this. Ha! I agree with you. But what could that do? Ha! My daughters! brought you to my house today? Because I know since my daughter Kiruka traveled to the city, you both have not been coming. Hey, hey, hey old woman, please, we are not here for pleasantries or something like that. We are here to tell you to warn your daughter and Kiru to stop sleeping around with men for role or money. Yes, advise her. Just advise her to stop opening her legs up and down. Eh? Let her stop disgracing us there. Ah, please, hold it there. Jideba, what are you telling me? I 
know my two daughters. They are very, very decent. They can't do such a thing. You must be a fool for saying that. What? You must be a, a very big fool, like big for nothing fool. It just, it, I'm just pleading, eh? Advise her. Before she catches disease, everywhere, HIV and co, then bring it back to this village and spread it around. Please. It's not difficult. Um, wait, 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 wait. Please, I want to ask you one question. Who is the person that sent you both to do this? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine questions? Yes. What kind of question is that? Good for you. She's asking me questions. When you finally locate the person that sent us, eh? Tell the person what happened here today. The Allah. And the local girl will always remain a local girl. Always doing things local. That is in Kiru, your classless daughter. She will never become a celebrity. Let's Where go. Are you? No, it's time. <laughs> Again, again. Oh, oh, oh. Six. Hala, hala. Life in the industry. Fake life is now the order of the this. day. No one agrees to be struggling. Do do? Some are get, they act, they no get. Why some no get, they act like they get. Everyone knows, they know what to slide. Mama. Mama, calm down. Just calm down. Explain to me. What was going on? They, they did what? Ow. Mama, Mama, calm down. Calm down. Just do me a favor, please. Go to your brother's place and wait for me until I come back. Mama, don't be telling me this now. I'll sort it out myself when I come back. Just go there and wait for me. Please, Mama. Okay. I'll, I'll see you first thing in the morning. Hey! Kiru, what's the problem? Vanessa, these people have beaten more than they can chew. They had the guts to raise their feet hands on my own mother. Which people are you talking about? Vanessa, oh Jesus. I wish I can go back to the village this night. And why do it? My mother. What are you Let me look. It didn't go. It didn't go to the mind, so the. It's not smart to talk. Now listen to me. Listen very attentively. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. The next time I will see you close to my mother, eh? I will break you. Don't go here. It's less than Get out! You see what we do to you? Eh? Wait, 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 come back. You will see. You see what we do to you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. If you are a gentleman, we break you. I will break the mother. Come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Just a tip. It was for Obele. Tell me, Obele. I know what you are talking about. Hmm. But I already told you that I have reported this matter to the union. Eh? Why not allow them to handle it? Mama, be gone. Both your union, your king, your uncle, your kingsmen, they cannot do anything about this matter, and you know it, Mama. The only thing they will do is to collect bribe from them and let them go. <laughs> but don't them. Not where I am alive. Although possible. This is what they call self-defense, Mama. My daughter. If they try it next time, eh? I will break them into so, so. I know you have your points, eh? But you know what? You have to leave here now. I, be, I don't want them to Am come I and meet me. Hey, you say, me. please. Mama, let them come and meet me here. Let them come and meet me here. Let them come and meet me here, Mama. Let them come and meet me here. Please. 
I'm careful. Calm down. Fear, fear. Let's go. Hey, make it be. Let it be. What is the plan? The plan? The plan now is, you see, Kiro, she's not escaping us this time around. Nowhere. Let's go. Close the door. Hey, I know. But we need to be careful with this. How do we go about it? Nobody's going to see us. She just came back, right? We all know what she does anytime she's back to this village. Abi, let's go. I'm using. Let's go. Come on, take place. Come on, be going. Come on, be going, please. I don't want them to come and meet you here. Please. Mama, are you still waiting? Start going now. Not asking me out of my own father's house because of those stupid girls. Oh, my daughter. Maggie, no, 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 no. It's not like that. I am not chasing you out of your father's house. You understand? Those girls, they are nothing. I solidly believe that you are living because of you, just because of me. Yes. I don't want anything to happen to you. Mama, no fear. You know, you know, those girls, they are insane. They can do anything to you. Please, I want you to go back to Asaba. Biko. Ne. Mama. I cannot leave you here alone. I can't. What if I leave you here alone and they, they come here and just hurt you now? And nothing eh? will happen to me. Oh, well, Mama, I can't. Nothing is going to happen to me. You know what? Immediately you are leaving now. I am going to go to my brother's house to stay for a meantime. Nothing will happen to me. And I believe they dare not step their foot there. Mm. Pico. Now, why are you walking slow? Why are you lagging behind? Look, we must not hold hand. Be going. I'm right behind you. Hey, wait, wait. Are you afraid? You are scared of this. How about if you are the one holding this acid like this? Will you die? Uh -huh. We are holding it already. You know how to hold it. Even if you want to spill on the ground, you can easily direct it on where to land. But the moon, I don't have such privilege. So we'll be going. I'm right behind you. Okay, you know what you do for me? Mm. I don't have this your time. Just go to that their house, eh? Spy on her. Let me know when she's leaving. You can make a car. Do it, I'll do that. Just one. be going. I'll do it. No, wait, I'm fucking. God will always protect and provide for you. I know it has not been easy. But hold on to God. I believe He will surprise you. He is going to put confusion in the tent of your enemies. Do you hear me? Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Mama, please take good care of yourself for me. I don't want to hear stories. I will. And you should get going as well. I will. Yes. Eh? Immediately you leave, I will follow you. Start going. I will. Oh, Mama, I will, my daughter. Okay. Take care of yourself. Oh, my daughter.
sleep. You let her slip through her fingers. Again, after all my effort. It was all your fault. Look, it's not my fault. It's never been my fault. I tried my best. Shut up. Is it not you again? I know you. You must have been dragging your two left legs before before you were able to come back to me to let me know I went to go and call her that acid. It's a very big place. Because I ran as fast as I could. Maybe she entered by me. But my own is that I'm going to tell sister. I will tell her that I try all my best. You spoiled the whole thing. <laughs> See what? Are you the only one that have access to sister? I will tell sister exactly what happened. Wait, are you talking to me like that? You're talking to me. Tell me what I just finished this thing first. Are you talking to me like that? I have a phone. I'll call her. I'll tell her. It's okay. Lazy girl. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate. Okay. <laughs> you are so funny. Um, please, can I call you back? All right. Bye. Babe, what is it? Who is playing Oge on this episode we are starting today? Oh. I think it's hot cocoa. I heard the director saying it. Again? Hot cocoa again? What is it with this hot cocoa and director? It's not like she's so fantastic. Not like she's a better actor. I am sure I'm a better actor than her. Yet they keep giving her lead roles. I don't get it. My dear, that is the industry for you. Even Little Emerald is a better actor than Hot Cuckoo. Yet, the director did not cast her in this job. Honestly, I wonder what it is Hot Cuckoo gives the director. With all her rudeness and her troubles, they keep casting her. It's funny. Sweetheart, I must surely find out what she gives to the director and how she gives it to him. Because this whole thing is becoming annoying. I can't take it anymore. Very no! Irritating. Honestly. Very. Babes, I don't understand. What? This makeup artist. I don't understand her body language. Are you sure she's here for makeup or she wants to act? My dear, you ought to understand that some people cannot even stick to one thing. I heard she's the one playing Oma. <laughs> you don't say. I never even knew she acts. Hey. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I can't wait to watch her perform. As in me. There was this way Hot Coco looked at me this morning. Seriously, I think she's beginning to unmask our lip service. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, she may have become aware that we do not like her. And honestly, if that happens, it will not be good for this film village. It won't. And how is that my business? I don't care. Why are you allowing that be your headache? <laughs> Girl, I had always known she's aware that I don't like her. But I don't bloody care. I will keep pretending until I'm able to send her out of circulation. Honestly. You think you can do that? Of course I can. Seriously? Who cares? That would be nice. Hey, girls. Hey, my baby. Yeah, baby. The hot cocoa herself. The one and only hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful and talented. <laughs> baby girl, you're so on point. <laughs> The hot cocoa with pedigree. Yeah. Beauty, talent, combined. Babe, you are always on point. Exactly, my love. That's me. The one destined to rule the entire world. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sister, when I heard you're the one playing this old gay character, I said to myself, whoever that did this casting is so on point. 
because I know that you are the only one who is capable of delivering 100%. You know you always kill it. You always kill it. Oh my God. Did you see what I just saw? I'm still, I'm still looking at it. Babe, did you see his watch? What? Uh, that dude is damn rich. This guy is dripping hot. <gasps> wait, wait a minute. I saw, I saw him in the latest Bugatti parked outside. You don't say. And uh, I thought he was entering the next compound. My God. <sighs> you mean this guy cruises in Bugatti? I am telling you the truth. I saw him. Hey. Honestly, girls. This is my kind of guy. Mm. Oh my god. I'm not gonna fall for any guy simply because he writes Bugatti. Do you say simply because he writes Bugatti? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's hard to come back. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, did he, did he stay here? Okay, he's a new guy. He just came back from the U.S. Oh, from the U.S. Um, he should be here rehearsing with us. I mean, I wouldn't want anyone dragging me back. He's in the costume department. He's wearing his costume. Okay, that's fine. Very well then. Let's wait for him. Wait, 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 wait. Let's wait for who? Come on, guys. Let's run our lines. He'll join us when he comes. Hey, dude. Can you calm down, please? No one took your biscuits. Hey, Coco. I wasn't referring to you. Watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. Should I make you relevant by giving you a response? No, I don't think so. Director, can you people just please Director, stop, director, stop, director. stop, stop, please, please, okay? It's not necessary. Let's work. Let's get to work. Because, uh, continue to come. Come, 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 come. Let's go. Um, DB, roll, let's go. Um, is that a costume? Yes. I hope it is a costume for the sake. Okay, let's go. No. Hey, it's gonna be everything nice. Of course. Of course. It's going to look hot. <laughs> Sydney slash hot cocoa gracing the event, coming in grand style. It's what are you not saying? <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Very hot, my darling. Hey. Hey. Director, what's up? You good? Wow, oh, it's so handsome. Uh, hi, hello. Uh, you can actually come sit here with us. Can you excuse me for some time? I want to speak with this cutie right here. But I don't want to. Well, you have to, sweetheart. You get no choice. Mm. Please don't part the fan. Thank you. Um, don't mind her. She's actually one of the people I brought into the movie industry. I made her who she is, so she always loved to stick around me. <laughs> wow, that sounds lovely. Yeah. Um, so what's your name? The Big B. It's Brandon. Call me Brandon. Brandon? Wow. A beautiful name for a cute guy. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I am... Hot Coco. Who doesn't know you? 
goodness. This is one of the disadvantages of being a celebrity. I mean, a lot of people get to know you when you don't even know them. And yeah, that comes to being popular. But mm. it's alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard you came from the US. I mean, I've been quite curious. I mean, what could possibly make you leave the US for Nigeria? Well, I'm here to do something very important for my beautiful country, Nigeria. Wow. What could that be? Well, you see, I'm here for a very big contract with the Ministry of Mines and Power. So while at it, I decided to explore the options available for me and be in some movies. Well, you know, I, I graduated from a film school in the United States, although I've been very busy with business. Wow, that's lovely. In all honesty, I love seeing people practice what they read in school. I love that. You can say that again. But I'm doing this for fun. Huh? You don't expect to see much of me. Hmm. Mm? Brendan. Of course. You sound like a businessman. Ha. Ah, that is me. A businessman to the core. And a big spender. You know, I have to work so hard to support my luxurious lifestyle. I see that. <laughs> Honestly, what I see, I can categorically say to you that you are indeed a real man. Real man, go for the money. Yes, mm? a real man. Well, Brendan, once again, it's nice meeting you. All the pleasure mm. is mine. Hot cocoa. <laughs> Ah. Sorry, hello. Hi. Yes. Can I help you? Um. Yes, I saw you leaving, so I said to say hi. Okay. Hi. Can I leave now? Yes and no. No, in the sense that I. Okay. I heard you just came back to Nigeria. Is that true? Well, yes. I just got back to Nigeria. Okay, so do you mind me taking you around? I mean, there's so many beautiful places, top notch, places that you're gonna like in town, if you don't mind. And why would you want to do that? Well, because you seem like a nice person, and my instinct wouldn't lie to me. Oh. Well, thank you very much, but I beg to decline. You see, I'm a very busy person, I won't have the time to do that, okay? So, I'll see you some other time. Oh. No matter what I meet, right on my way to see my destiny going on, I will keep on going on. It doesn't matter all the obstacles I meet, I will keep on going Vanessa, on. Vanessa, I have never been humiliated like this all my life. The insult, the humiliation, the embarrassment. I felt like the ground should open. Let me just sink inside. Hi! Listen to yourself. You brought this upon yourself. So I have no consolation word for you. Why? How? Why would you say that? Is it a crime for me to want a rich guy? No, you tell me. Is it a crime? Listen to me, Vanessa. I can swear that my village people are using my file as their pillow. They are using my file to sleep. But my God will touch them. Listen. I don't care how I do it. That guy must look my way. He must notice me. My dear, you better accept the man that clearly loves you. Grow with him and he will respect you more. I beg, I beg, I beg. Oh, Vanessa, please. I beg you in the name of God. No, they add salt to my injury. My body will not me already. Which guy advise with this one now? Eh? Now let me ask you a question. All those girls that used to date rich guys like that, do they have two heads? Do they have three bumbum? It's not this same bumbum that we have. Why can't we date guys like him? Those guys that drive Ferrari, Bugatti, Bosch. We cannot date them, Abby. Because of what? He must look my way. Good luck. Thank you. So I just saw to my injury. My dear, you needed to have seen the way he was all over me. He told me that he got into the movie industry because of me. That he's obsessed. That he loves my movies. 
and he's been seeing them for years. As a matter of fact, that he's tripping for me. And he wants me, hot cocoa, to be his girl. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is good news. So tell me, what did you say? I declined, of course. I told him to his face that I wasn't going to be his girl. Come on. I don't even know this guy in question. Besides, you know me now. I know they do fine boy things. <laughs> it's a lie. Huh? No, no. You are joking, right? I'm not joking. How can you do a thing like that? And why can't I do a thing like that? I told him that I am not interested. And that is the truth. Come off it. What are you talking about? This guy in question is not even up to the guys that throw themselves at me. He's not. So many guys are begging me for them to buy houses for me in America just for me to say yes to their proposal. Oh. You're here saying what? Come on, oh. sis. Come on. Have you really taken a good look at this guy? Mm. I mean, this guy is H-O-T. Ha! Oh, come off it, please. If you love him that much, why don't you go for him? Why don't you? Now listen, let me tell you, my dear. I told him the truth and nothing but the truth. He is not worth it. I mean, he's not even up to it. I have guys on my list that are hotter, sexier, and even wealthier than him. Uh, if I want to choose, I can pick any anyone from there and certainly nothing, please. Let's talk about something else. Honestly, you would have given him a chance. Go for Honestly. him. Go for him, darling. I'm not interested. Hot Coco isn't interested, please. Mm. I have never been this humiliated. You needed to have seen the way this girl chased me like I'm a child. She was practically all over him, throwing herself at him, misbehaving, even when it was so clear this dude wanted me. And what did you do? Hmm. You know me now. I can't condone such. Me, Sydney, dragging a man with a girl. Never, girl. Besides, this dude in question is not even up to my class. He is not my type of guy. So no need for the headache. A man of that class and cuteness is not your type. Babes, please, who is your type? I am not surprised you're asking that. I have rejected guys way cuter and richer than him. If I need a guy, all I would do is just scroll down my DM, reply one or two of my lineups, and that is it. Mm. Baby la hot! The hottest! I beg you. I beg, I beg, I beg. I am not hot, Coco. So don't come and wash me. Sorry. Ha! Ah, that didn't pay me, I swear, I no go lie. Sorry. God! Just take some cold water, you'll be fine. <sighs> hmm? Snap it up, girl. something for us to eat. There is no food stuff in this house. Uh, use your money, I'll, I'll give you back. I came here with 20,000 euros. Now it's finished. You asked me to be buying stuffs with my money. That you reimburse me. I don't have any single penny. Any single penny. I don't have it with me again. I'm exhausted. So you don't even have small money to stock the house? <laughs> yes. The last money I had I used the bind bottled what I requested for. Why not come so we'll just go to the bank at once and at least withdraw 500,000 naira so we can stock up the house. There is nothing, I mean, there is nothing in this house again, nothing. 500 what? Um, um see babe, um, you know, I'm, I'm having issues with my bank. Huh? So, 
Just use your money. Huh? When I rectify it, I'll double it for you, okay? You've been using this phone to play games for the past two days. Why not come so we'll go to the bank together? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I am yet to make you my girl and you're already giving me orders on how to live my life. Are you mad? I was just trying to suggest something for you. Who the hell asked for your suggestions? Huh? Or is it because I stooped so low to even, to even look your way? And let me ask you, how much have you even spent? Huh? Just 20,000 naira and you're already yelling down my house. Something wrong with you? You know what? Just leave my house. Please, please calm down. I said leave my house. Please, just calm down. It's, it's not as if I'm telling you what to do. I'm trying to teach you how to run your life. I'm just trying to make things work out here. Okay, fine. Just forgive me, okay? I'm sorry. Hmm? Don't worry. I'll just go in and pick up my ATM card, then rush to the bank and get something for us to eat. So that you will insult me the next time, Abby? Huh? Probably yell down my house and tell everybody that I'm owing you, right? You are not owing me, please. I just wonder how this is fine. The payment system is bad. You know you have to pay the bank to decide what you're supposed to drop. Is it that bad? Worse. It is far worse, bro. I don't think I can survive here. I don't think. What about the car? How would you be managing it? Well, I have returned the car and just go to back to the bank. You know how it is when it comes to this. I don't want to stop. Then how do you intend to survive now? Oh. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm sticking to sugar money. Yes. I'm looking for buoyant sugar money and just milk. Yeah, that's my plan. That's the only plan I have now. What about the other one? I think the hot girl is Coco. Yeah? So that's on the side. The hot Coco girl, she's not as buoyant as she claims to be. I got that information from the bouncer she uses for her movements. But all the same, I'm still on a case. She's a hot girl. Go -go. Go -go. From what I know, Chief, they buy all their words, and I want to buy mine. But my only problem is that the amount of money they are calling is just too much. I don't have it. My beautiful celebrity. Mm. That should not be a problem. As long as it gives you joy, mm. I can always find the money. Oh. Trust me. Oh, gee. Trust me. <laughs> you see why I can go all out for you. <laughs> I know that already. Eh? Just continue to answer my call at any time I call on you. Always. Hmm? Always. <laughs> Always. And you will never lack anything. Always. Talk of money, I have it. <laughs> My dear, are you not going to calm yourself down? Eh? Biko, 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 don't give me that. Why will you allow those two useless daughters of a gambler to leave this compound after insulting you? I can't Eh? Mm. I talk about me, Acho. So what do you want me to do? Eh? Eh? Do you want me to join issues with them? Do you want me to join issues with those two girls who have already smoked something strong before coming here? I is that what you want? I don't want to know what they smoked. If what they smoked is not good on them, they should stop. Or they better than their father's compound. You better go and tell them. I will do that, I will do that myself. Huh? You are when next they come here, make sure you tell me. I will handle those girls myself. Okay, Fomo? Okay, Fomo? Okay, Fomo? Okay, Fomo? Okay, Fomo? Okay, Fomo? It's okay now. Uh -huh. What's all Huh? What's all this now? Did I put what's now? I said, for what? Why will I allow them to go? It's okay. I said it's okay. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Make sure you okay. tell me when next they come. In Ania?
doing here? Oh, <laughs> Oh, Emerald, mm -hmm. what exactly are you doing here? You're not on this set, are you? Oh, no, I'm not on this set. I came to see you girls. I've missed you girls a lot. Oh, we've missed you too, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You know, girl, I wish you're on this set with us. Mm -hmm. It would have been more fun. Really? You know, all of us together in mm -hmm. one set. Sleep together. <laughs> <laughs> I've been actually waiting for you to come out. I wanted to discuss... Hey, 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 you. hush. I don't have time for that right now. I got business to handle. Some of the time, please. Hey. Yeah. Hi. Hello, ladies. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Hot I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. I saw what you did in there. It was really amazing. Really? And to tell you the truth, my dear, if you continue like this, you're going to take the top spot in this industry. Oh, thank you very much for the compliments. Of course, you know the compliments is high class. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, anyway. So what happened? I haven't been seeing you in your Bugatti. Oh, the, the car. Yeah, you know me, you know me. I, I like to keep it low profile. The car was bringing too much attention, so I thought I should just keep it back at home and do the Nigerian thing. Huh? <laughs> wow, it's okay. I have never seen a Nigerian wannabe celebrity who wants to keep it low profile. Like seriously, they all like it loud. Otherwise, they won't be here. What are you talking about? And who told you he's a Nigerian wannabe celebrity? What's wrong with you? Please, he is totally different. Mm -hmm. And what makes him so different? You also find out. Um, Hot Coco seems to know more about you than you do. Yeah, that's very simple. She understands me. Yes. Huh? <laughs> so, my dear, um, where are you going? Believe me, when I have weird feelings about someone, he usually turns out to be true. There is something fishy about that guy. I just cannot seem to place my hands on it. How do you mean? I do not understand this guy. Even when I try to, I can't. Emerald, please, don't start. I am not in the mood for your usual theories. I am not in the mood to listen to any unnecessary theories right now. Please. Emerald, honestly, oh. honestly, honestly. What is it that you can't get? What? How can someone who has got a contract with the Ministry of Minds and Power, who claimed to have returned from the US and is here acting film and television series? No way! Something does not add up. I thought you had something very important to say. For crying out loud, this guy is doing this for fun. Just for the passion. Just like the senator who delved into acting recently. Please, nobody should read meaning to that. But I'm very certain that there's something wrong about that guy. I don't even, I, I don't have to convince you girls, but trust me, I will figure it out myself. Hmm, BBC International. That'll be you again. My dear, we know you. We know you. Just be fast while at it, okay? And good luck while you're at it. What is my business? It's not like I want this guy or something, mm. so it's none of my business. Sydney, Sydney, I saw you lusting on this guy. Huh? You were throwing yourself at him. Emirat, stop it right now. I won't take that from you. Wow, another one. Oh my God, I love this makeup. It looks so beautiful. I mean, the natural. I like who is the lady on red? 
She called me for home service. My dear, while I was there, they started this thing about Sydney and her girls. The way they use Kayamata to hold and milk people's husbands. You're joking. He, Sydney and Kayamata. He, and she's been claiming super girls power all this while. This is serious. I thought she said she can work for herself and she does not need to depend on any man to do anything for her. Oh my god. Story. They know the people they are deceiving. The how much do you think they have been paid? How do you think they can afford such an expensive lifestyle? Hmm? No, that's true. I never thought about it. I'm not surprised, Sydney. Anyway, you see why I like myself? I rather remain like this. I'm not too greedy. I just want one rich guy to be able to take care of me, and that's all. I don't need to be using Kayamata to be going up and down from one person's husband to the other. No, now. I don't have such strength. Just one rich guy and a maid. Nataba, see, you better hustle and stop looking for a maid man. I don't understand. Yes. Who no like better thing? I better go sit down. I'm hustling, I'm hustling. part of the hustling. He's getting a rich guy with just one person. I have been eating this food for eternity. And yet, I am still hungry. Why not give me this food that will quench my hunger forever? You know this won't be possible. You know it, so why are you forcing it? Look at your eyes. I can see it through your eyes. I can feel your heart beat for me. Why are you in denial of this beautiful thing we share? Why? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Please eat your food. Then give me a chance. Allow me dive to the deepest part of the ocean for you. Allow that tickle in your heart to blossom. Let it create a bubble that will last forever. really awesome. It was nice. It was nice. I mean, what are you talking about? Your passion, your accuracy, your tact, and your enthusiasm. Everything. Oh. Well, I was only being professional. You shouldn't read meaning into it. No one is talking about reading meaning into anything. All I am saying is that I like it. Listen, I was only doing my job. There is nothing to be liked about it. What's your problem? You still don't understand. It's, it's everything about you. Oh, why are you being so uptight? Now let's, let's just face this once and for all. Why are you being so uptight? Why not losing yourself a little bit beautiful? Allow me to screw you. Trust me, you will be so amazed. Get your hands off me. 
And you listen to me, we are not acting, we are not on set. Do not touch me next time, I am not interested in whatever you want to say. You don't mind the mood, don't you get it? Don't touch me again. Allow me to scrub you. <laughs> Okay. Hey family, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are great. Yeah, it's your girl Unlimited Worldwide Coco. You know, <laughs> I'm so sorry I've not had time to speak with you guys. I've been so busy on set. But I told my director, no, 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 no. You have to give me time to speak with my fans. I said, no, you guys are the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Tonero, you want to take pay that I'll be calling you now. Ah, yes, I missed your call, but you know how it is on set. When you're filming, your phones are always in silence. Yes. I'm so sorry about the background noise. It's one of my colleagues, actually, who is obviously not sane. I'm so sorry about that. So I'm going to call you guys much later, okay? Bye. Hey, me. Hey, me. Pardon me of life. Yeah. What is the meaning of this embarrassment? I mean, what is this? Didn't you see that I was on a live video? And you were there making noise? Are you stupid or something? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Tony Tonero, pardon me, Toshop. You know the story now. Come on. Ah, yeah, of course. Of course. Listen, eh? we that know the business, we stay focused. I ignore those people that come on set and all you hear every time is go, 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 unlimited this, unlimited that. That's all we hear. They're not focused. Constituting news is everywhere on set. They won't mind their business. They won't stay focused. Go, go. Hey! <laughs> what is this? Go, go. Are you mad or something? What, what did you just say about me? What did you just say about Coco? What? <laughs> Go, go. That's all they say on set. Go, go. The unlimited. There's a way to keep their mouth when they say it. unlimited. Go, go. Very stupid. <laughs> You're a foolish man. Tony Tonero. Body me to show. Go, go. Go, go, go. Hot Coco, I feel you know why I called you out. I honestly do not know, but Director, it will be appreciated if you send that actor out. I mean, I cannot do that thing with him. I can't have him coming close to me, hugging or kissing me. No, I can't. The script did not say kiss. The man walks into his sitting room and finds his wife dancing. He approaches her and gives her a peck. That That's is, the scene. That is where my problem lies. I can't hug him. Robert, or whatever his name is called, is a low life. Dirty and absolutely classless. I can't have anything to do with that nigga. Listen, director, if you want to start his acting career with hugging, kissing, and pecking, oh no, certainly not with me. Not with an early star like me. Hot cockle. No, director. Good. I won't that, do it. As a professional actor, do you actually understand the concept of character interpretation? <laughs> but director, you have told me countless times how good I am, how good I interpret my character. So I know that. I know full well. Listen to me, Hot Coco. An actor should see his fellow actor as an instrument he uses to achieve his job. The problem here is that you are seeing the individual and that is why we've not shot the scene. Director, I don't know why you are elongating this more than necessary. I mean, there are so many actors who can interpret this thing so well. Why are you insisting on that, Robert? That dirty thing. But we can't continue to use the same set of people all the time. Others should be given the opportunity to showcase their talent. Robot is good. The role should say, I want him. All right. Can we go and shoot the same? No problem. But on one condition, director, you have to reblock. Yes. I mean, I can't find myself going close to that guy, hugging, not to talk of kissing. No, not me. Are you now teaching me my job? Thank <laughs> you.
You will agree with me that I am your senior in this business. So you should listen to me. <clears throat> Vanessa, for the fact that you are older than me in this business doesn't mean that I don't know what is going on. Don't you get it? Because people are systematically trying to frustrate me and it's getting to me. You will only be frustrated if you give them the chance. Yes. What nonsense! No, 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 I cannot take this. I mean, this is way too much for me to bear. What nonsense. What embarrassment. I don't know what is wrong with this man. Why can't he cast reasonable stars in his films? Wasting my time for no just cause. Oh my God. I'm feeling so irritated right now. Take a simple line is a problem. Take a, just a simple line. You can't take it. Yet you want to be an actor. Who does that? I mean, where does it happen? Oh, goodness me. Where is my seat? I, I dropped it in the car. You see, PM told me that this will be your last thing for today. Excuse you? You did what? It's in the car, ma. Did I, did I tell you to drop it no, in the car? No. Are you stupid? Are you mad? Oh, why are you so dumb? Get out! What's all this nonsense? Everyone is just annoying me. Bunch of incompetent fools everywhere. Nonsense. Oh my goodness. Chica! My fan! And where is the seat? You are so foolish. Oh goodness me. God! So irritated. God! And what was the meaning of that nonsense, Just Leave me alone. What was the meaning of that? Hey! Have you lost your sanity? What's the meaning of this nonsense? What right do you think you have to talk to me? Hot cocoa! Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm asking you that question. Have you lost it? Goku, does it ever occur to you that you just slapped someone's daughter? My sister, and my brother. what blood? is going on here? Oh. Oh, Are both goodness. of you planning to fight on my set or what? Oh my god, there is nothing hot Coco won't say in this life. No, let her, let her come close to me. Let me tear that meat weight into shreds. Come, come on, bring it on. You want to fight me? Come listen on. Me. Please stop this, stop this. Listen guys, just put yourourselves together, okay? Nobody's a kid here. We are here for serious business. Just, just leave me. No, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me. Let me teach this fool a big lesson. Oh my God. Idiot. It is your mother that is a big fool. In fact, your entire generation are all fools. Coco, idiot. Coco, leave her mother out of this. You should be apologizing to that poor girl. She's an adult. You don't have any right to hit her. What was that you just spewed? Are you mad? How dare you talk to me? You, you stood here and watched her insult me and you did absolutely nothing. Now you come running your mouth trying to talk to me. Are you crazy? Huh? Listen, I have every right to deal with whoever I want to deal with. That girl works for me. As a matter of fact, she is my servant. You like And Coco. I can beat her whenever I you want to. You will not try it again, Coco. Do not even ever in your life raise your filthy hands on my sister's face again if you do. Enough. Enough. You will have to listen to me. Up. Enough. Listen. Close it. Enough. Listen to me. Shut up. Enough of this theatrics. I'm not comfortable with it. This is my set and I'm in charge here. This business is supposed to be a business of play. Where we come together and play. I don't understand the need for this tension. I don't know. The jealousy is just too much. Go try it. So let her bring it on. Try it again. Bring it no. on, fool. Hey, get out. Rubbish. Take off. Shut your mouth. Listen to me, I want you to quit this job. I mean, it's obvious that Coco, or whatever she calls herself, has no human feelings. She has no respect for human beings. Listen and listen very attentively. I will get you another job. But you need to quit that job. Do you I understand? I'm not complaining. I can't stop working for her. You're not complaining? Someone just slapped you in public and here you are telling me you're not complaining. I only made her angry. Not that she slapped me. Shut your trap! Shut up! Just shut it. She has no right hey. to hit me. I don't know what is going on here, honestly. Chica, I asked you to get my seat. 
And here you are, discussing rubbish with this thing. What is the meaning of that? Huh? Listen, I'm talking to you. Coco, whatever they call you. The next time you raise those infected heads of yours on my sister's face again, I swear to God, I will feed your soul and body to the dogs. And I'm not joking. <laughs> Well, it's very easy for you to open your mouth and spew rubbish when you and I know obviously that you can't do a thing. You cannot. Else you are prepared to spend the, the, the rest of your wretched life in prison. I'll do that. <laughs> do you know something, Coco? When I decide to come for you, it's like the director, he won't be able to save you. Now take your miserable self out of my sight before I get even more angry than I am already. Get out! Hey, get, get, get out! I said get, get out! You're taking pictures, you can just be yeah, there. Just give okay, up. I love you. Take the show. Uh, 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 all right. Oh, God. Okay, let's go. Uh, mm. No way. Just... It's okay. Sorry, let me take it easy on her. Huh? Can you I shut up? Who called you to this? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Here we have you have taken. Okay. Okay. Smile. Smile. Go. Okay, sorry. Go, 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 go. The stink goes to ash. Oh my god. The smell of fish. I can't handle this. I can't even stand the smell. Oh. Oh. Goodness. I'm out of here. with a celebrity yet you can't even have a shower a proper shower look at how terrible she stinks oh my goodness did you see the way they were smelling like dead rats jeez i have a fun celebrity just to snap picture with you see what you do is i try to see the girl body the smell now get a snap picture with you pia, 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 pia. Only for film, they will play nice role. See one on one, not what he said, they're nice. Fool. Carry Coca Cola show for you, know, they make you. Hey! Hey! Right, dog. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, beautiful. You're welcome to my house. Thank you very much. Please have a seat. <sighs> wow. Um, so, what can I offer you? I have brandy, I have champagne. I have wine, I have everything. Oh, do you want to go soft? Do you have syrup? Syrup? That's yes. my best drink. Of course I have it. <laughs> but who? You see, we have lots in common. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'll uh, have syrup. Okay. Um, how is Nigeria treating you? Well, everything is fine. As a matter of fact, the movies are making it more fun for me. I love that. <laughs> Sorry, yes. I forgot. Chica! Chica! Please come here. So I'm even happy that the whole thing is making it fun for you. Of course. Grab yes. Chica. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, Chica, please get us syrup um, with ice. Okay, I'd like to it. Okay, Alright. <laughs> I'd like to it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the you sound will, of that. You'll love it. <laughs> yes, I, I will. Tell I, know, you. I know, I know, I know. Okay, um, so tell me, Brandon, how about your girlfriend? <laughs> My girlfriend? Mm-hmm. I don't get. What do you mean you don't get? 
I'm sure you must have told her that I invited you over. Mm. Yeah. Well, I do not understand what you're saying. And the fact is, I do not have a girlfriend. At least not now. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Y you expect me to believe that you do not have a girlfriend. Exactly. I do not. My guy, does it mean those guys have not seen the news? Those guys are always online. They should have seen the news. See, this scandal is the least of my worries. Are you this heartless? These are your artists at the verge of going down. You should show concern. That is where you get it wrong. You see those girls? Hot Coco and Sydney. There are some bunch of useless girls who see crew members as less important. So if this scandal is going to make them go down, I don't care. They should go down. It's none of my business. Okay? What I see here is old anger. I can't deal with that. Stop telling me about some useless girls. I'm reading an important scene that I need to film. Can I concentrate? Please, thank you. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh. Please, can you at least calm down? How do you expect me to calm down when th things are going wrong? How on earth do you expect me to? People have me in their mouths. Some are even threatening to unfollow me on their social media platforms. Me! Hot cocoa! People talk ill about me, insulting me. And do you expect me to be fine? I am losing it! I don't even know what to do right now. Right about now, I am totally confused. Honestly, you guys didn't do well at all. Both of you messed up big time. Those girls were your fans, you know. I mean, how could you smile with them in their faces and then turn around to cause them behind their backs? This is the height of hypocrisy. Calm down, what's wrong with you? Why are you making things worse than it is already? Melody, please just shut it if you don't have anything reasonable to say. How do we know that one fool is going to record and upload it for the world to see? How? Now people see us as bad and wicked people. Listen, please, I am begging every one of you because I am not okay right now. I do not want anybody to say anything about this again, if not a remedy to this situation. I don't want it. For crying out loud, Coco has big fan base out there. I have a lot of people who love and appreciate me. How do I get to lose them? How? What will become of me? That means I'm gone. I can't lose my lovers. I can't. And you actually think you deserve their love? Is that what you think? Just stop it, Melody. It's enough. I mean, it's not their fault that these girls cannot afford a common deodorant. Look, let's look for a remedy here. I'm not apportioning blames on anyone. Please! Schemas everywhere. I just confirmed it. God will punish whoever that did this to us. God will punish the person. See? Tell me, how bad is it? Very bad. Someone just said that they would never watch a movie that you guys feature in. What? And that you do not deserve their love. Please, please just stop it already. Stop. Oh my goodness. I can't take it anymore. I would just die. Please don't. Sydney, what? your followers have increased. What? It's a lie. 10,000 new followers. Just within hours. What? Oh my god! This is so unbelievable. Go have a look. Jesus, I'm so excited! 
I said, girls, listen. After this scandal, I am creating another one for myself. Huh? Yes. More scandals, more followers. Can't you say that for yourself? How can they be cursing you and following you in thousands? Girl, this is God. It is a world of scandal where people value nonsense and talk down on intelligence and sense. You know what? After this, I am not going to hesitate to create another scandal for myself. Really? God! You are not serious, are you? I am damn serious. Watch me do it. More scandals, more followers. Jesus, girl, can you beat that? 10,000 new followers. Give me my phone. This is so incredible. 10,000 new followers, girls. Ah! I'm mad already. Oh my god. Continuity. What is holding the city? Sir? What is holding us? Why, why are we not working? Huh? Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, Mr. Neat said he needs to eat before shooting. He needs to eat? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm directly. I actually sent my PA to go get me food. But when he got there, he said the food is finished. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. But that shouldn't be a problem. Order food online, they will deliver it to you promptly. Uh, never mind. I, I think I want to eat location food today. Location food? Are you sure, Mr. Nitz? Won't it purge you? Let me just try, okay? Uh, Continuity. Sir. Tell the welfare to give him food. <laughs> Alright, sir. Uh, Mr. Nitz, location food? Please, let me join her. <laughs> Please, be fast, be fast. I haven't shot anything. My guy is broke. Money is finished. Location <laughs> food, I have become an option. <laughs> oh my god, this is And I'm from where? Mr. Neat, hmm? is you are waiting for? Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll be with you guys shortly, okay? Is this not uh, location food that you're eating? Yes, yes. <laughs> I said, uh, let me try it today. But I, I never knew that this food is really nice. Yeah. Mr. Neat, hmm? are you sure? PM, I'm sure, I'm sure. That's very good. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is it this food that I eat? You are saying it's very, very delicious. Yes. You are saying it's very delicious. Very, very nice. You know, if I had known that this food is this nice, I would have been eating it long ago. Huh? You know what, PM? From today onwards, keep my location food for me. I want to be eating location food now. Yes. Mr. Neat, is it you that is talking or... You are saying we should keep location food for you from today. PM is like you've not been eating this food. It's, it tastes very nice. Eh? If I've known that this food is this nice, I, I wouldn't have been eating all those nonsense that they cook at those fast food, wasting my money. Yeah, I, I, I want to be eating this now. It's very, very delicious, bro. So, so delicious. <laughs> this food. <laughs> Mr. Neat. <laughs> uh, well, like I said, it's you who have been waiting for. Uh, just, don't, don't worry, I'll join you soon, okay? Right. Is it the same food I ate that this, this guy is praising this week? Celebrities now wow. After you be filming one kind of thing that people don't know. Need to arrange them very well. Just two. Watch, watch, watch. This Mr. Need, eh? His own celebrity, Tayami. I don't know if he has any clothes of his own. Always taking pictures with costume. Go to his page. 
All his pictures are location pictures. Look at him. The other day, he even walked us too. When it was not even time for him to shoot. Just to take pictures with Brandon's car. He was doing posing as if the car belongs to him. Ah, uh, B? Now, wow. He's forming big boy now. Ever since he managed to travel out, he has been disturbing us. In the US, you don't do this. In the US, you don't do that. Haba. My dear, oh, I thought I was the only one that noticed that. He can never say something without referring to when he was in the US. I'm tired of it. I myself, I will travel to the US. Cut, 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 robot, cut, cut, cut. Is that mean I'm done for today? No, sir. You're not done. You are the Casanova in this series, okay? As a matter of fact, you have five more women to kiss in this episode alone. Five more women? Yeah. Well, who am I now? Let's make an enjoy. Who am I to do this? So let me just enjoy. You know, when I was reading the script, I told myself, guy, robot is on a real cruise. It is. <laughs> of course, director. Of course, director. I'm standing by. I'm standing by. From the look of things, I think I'm done for today. Where, where did they run go, sir? The moment you hear cut, boom, you don't walk out. Where did they pursue you? A director, you know me very well. I don't like to parade the location when I'm not on set. I always like to go, you know, attend to other things, other businesses that will give me money. I don't want this gossip, gossip thing on set. Wow. I'm not in for it. Wow, wow, wow. I'm, I'm impressed. You know, that's one thing I keep on telling actors. A lot of them rely solely on this business. If you do it or work in it, understand? You have to get something else to fall back on in case Saka war, you know? True, true what director, true director. That's why I have, you know, just this small business that I fall back to each time I leave the location. That is why I'm always running after shooting. Okay. And so, so obviously I'm done for the day. So well, uh, tell, ask the PM to confirm I that. I'll ask the PM, so I'll see you tomorrow now. <laughs> All right, I'll see you now. Sound! I don't want to sound, All right? <laughs> director, uh, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye guys, bye guys. <laughs> You know, guys, um, when I travel to the States, I was paid to attend a conference with so many people in attendance. Believe you me, I made a lot of money. A lot. But here in Nigeria, everything seems to be working on auto reverse. I do not understand. Why is it like that? That is because you had it in your mind that you were going to make money. But right here, it is totally different. I don't understand. Different how? You know, my travels are always for relaxation, you know. I travel basically to have fun. Sleep, eat, move around, sightseeing, pictures and all. That's all. Oh, guys. You see, the United States is my base. When I'm over there, it's walk, walk, walk all through. That's why when I go back here, I decided to do whatever I like with my life and live the life of a common man. No more extravagant lifestyle, no more expensive cars, none of that lifestyle no more. Hmm? Just me. Well, I just started mine. There is no way I can quit extravagant lifestyle. I mean, I've got the money and the fame, so I have to enjoy it. Um, that reminds me, Hot Coco, I heard um, Robert complaining to someone on the phone that you are making his life unbearable. He must be very stupid. He might as well go ahead and report to the president of DGN. I do not give a damn. He hasn't even seen anything yet. By the way, what the hell is wrong with that young man? No. He doesn't socialize with anybody at all. What's his problem? That's because he's a low life. Huh? He does not have class. You know, we all are celebrities. But we do not belong in the same class. Tell him, darling. The truth is that he is a low life and will only mingle with low lives like himself. Guys, please. Leave the poor guy alone. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't even tell me that, girl. 
He actually lost it when he left what he was supposed to be doing and then came into the Nollywood industry to drag status with celebrities like us. He's a big fool. Yeah. You can say that again. She's a hot girl. Hey. She's a hot girl. Hey. Everybody go to follow. Ah, look at her back. Like Nikki Minaj. Damn for garage. Everybody go to follow. She's a celebrity with a little. I just came to tell you that you are a useless man. My lawyer will serve you quick notice. So? Hello, please calm down. Eh? I will pay. I will pay. I promise I will pay. And I'm just having a little problem. Please. Shut up! The iPhone 12 you bought yesterday. Is the money not more than your rent? I, I don't know what you're talking about, Lamont. I didn't buy any phone. I follow you on Instagram. I saw your videos. How can he be so heartless? I told you I needed to use that money for my children's school fees. But you rather went ahead and bought an iPhone 12 with it. And you are here lying. Telling me you do not have money. Lalo, I did not buy any phone. Please. Please bring down your voice. Please. I was only window shopping. Eh? I cannot afford such an expensive phone. You have to believe me. You are a liar! Believe me, I am not lying. I, I cannot afford that phone. Eh? I was only showing off. Please, please come. I will pay. Eh? Please. You have two weeks. Just two weeks. Hala, hala. Life in the industry. Fake life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. AI. Some are get, they act them no get. Why some no get, they act like them get. Everyone my boss, they know what to slack. Hey fans, how are you guys doing? Of course it's your girl Sydney. Mm -hmm. I have come to share something very exciting with you guys. Hey Becky, I can see you. How are you doing? Okay guys, listen. A fan just got me something so beautiful, something amazing, something so exciting and I want to show you guys what it is. Are you ready to see this? Okay guys, have a look at those beauties. Mm -hmm. Have a look. These are designers guys. Can you see it? Oh my god, I am so excited. Look at those boxes. These are sneakers and bags. Ah! Oh, yes! I'm so excited, but guys. Mm -hmm. Now, the sender is anonymous. But whatever it is, I want you to know that Sydney really appreciates this. I love them all. They are so beautiful. Thank you so much. And I am going to rock them for you to see. Okay, guys, I will have to go now. Mm? Talk to you guys some other time. Love you. Mwah. Who is it? Come in. Madam, my mother will soon be back and I have come to pick those items. But I told you I will return them myself. What if she comes back and finds out that these items are missing? She will lock me up in jail. Okay, fine. How much is your balance? Life in the industry, 
perfect life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. Yeah. Some are get, they act them no get. Why some no get, they act like them get. Everyone knows they know what to slide. Baby La Hawk, the hottest, the ever lovely baby girl. Hmm. And why are you so interrupting my studio section with this, your fake praises? Uh -uh. These are no fake praises, girl. Wait, wait, wait. You never hear? Your matter are day everywhere for internet. My girl, you don't blow. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, wait, wait. Why are you acting surprised? Don't tell me you don't know. You don't know that you and Kelechi, the footballer, are dating. My dad that's the news all over the internet. Hey, baby, you are chopping football money. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. But wait, babe, when this one starts, and you not even tell us your friends. Ah, oh, no, 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 you're not trying. <clears throat> if I hear. Girls, listen. The last incident taught me that the more you stay in the news, the more fans and endorsements you get. Okay? So I am doing everything possible to stay in the news. This is just the beginning. Um, okay, l let me get this straight. Are you trying to say that you and Kelechi, you guys are not dating? Hey! Sydney, you can lie! Yay! I saw pictures of you guys kissing. You are right. That incident happened the first day we met. That was supposed to be a peck, but you know me. I took advantage of that. Wait again. How come we never saw the pictures before now? How? Well, that pic has always been on my cloud. And I've always known it's going to be useful someday. Hey. Come on, girls, you know how this thing works. Mm. Mm? All I did was give it out to a blogger, pay the person to publish the story. Mm? Very simple. Mm -hmm. I have to be relevant. Are you kidding me? No, baby. <laughs> honestly, Sydney, honestly, you are a crook. You are an Amroba, Sydney. International. International. <laughs> Girl, I need to be important. And very, very important. You don't get it. You're your own this time. <sighs> Brandon? Why are you staring at me like that? Well, that is because you look amazingly stunning. Oh, really? Mm. Yes, darling. Well, you're already making my head swell. It doesn't need to swell. This is fact. <gasps> and I'm looking right at it. Thank you so much. Please have a seat. Thank you, darling. By the way, I saw your live video. Looks like you went shopping. Yes, I actually did. I went shopping. It's not been too long I got back. Yeah. You must have spent a whooping sum of... Say six million on those bags and shoes. How did you know? Oh my god! Like, I spent a lot of money today, I must tell you. One of those bags actually cost 1.5 million. I spent money. I bought these. I got these. They're all designers. Wow, well, they must yeah. be original. You know, I, I think I need to see them so I see if I get for my mom and sister, you know? <laughs> Let me finally bust your bubbles. You cannot believe that I gave everything out. Yes, I did. I was there and my cousin called me and she's like, oh my gosh, sis, I want these bags. I want this outfit. And my friends here, they're your big fans. And if you give them all this, they will love you more. My dear, I just didn't have a choice. I gave everything out. Not even one with me. Wow. Mm? This one got to me. Mm? Just, you see why I tell you we have we have lots in common. Something like this actually happened to me. You see, when I go back to that chair, okay. 
Okay. I bought myself this wonderful Ferrari. I said like um 2021. 20, an advanced model. Like we actually uh, Yes, an advanced model. An advanced model, I said she. So I got back. Then my my little brother saw the car. Okay. And then he was like, Wow, bro, this whip is mad. I've got to have it. A Ferrari! You gave it? A Ferrari! I had to give it up to him. Wow, woo! I had to let go of that car. My God! Just for him to be happy. You see? That is why I tell you we have a whole lot in common, darling. We actually do. Yeah. You yeah. gave a Ferrari out? Yes, darling, I did that. My God! I did that. This is amazing. Well, <laughs> that makes the two of us then. Of course, darling. <laughs> that makes the two of us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're most welcome to my house. Um, we, 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 we are very nice people. Yeah, we, we nice, we nice. We just give our stuffs like that. Yeah, we give out. <laughs> yeah, we give our stuffs like that. We give out lots stuff. of money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You are lucky it was not hot cook. She would have given you a dirty slap for pushing her like that. Only the name of making it real. Well, I needed to make it look real. That's what filmmaking is all about. Make believe. I don't even want to talk about hot cocoa. Someone that refused to peck me simply because she feels I am not in her class. Something that was clearly written in the script peck the artist, and she refused. Can we just not talk about hot cocoa, please? I will sue you for asking. Mm. Please, 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 I beg of you, don't sue me. I don't even have money to, to pay a lawyer. Please. <laughs> You are forgiven. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, your, your friend, isn't she coming back anytime soon? Aha! I knew it. You have never said a word to me before. Not to talk of offering to drop me off. So you are here because of my friend. Uh, um, uh, not, not exactly, but, uh, uh, you know, I just wanted to set my eyes on her before I leave. I understand. I understand you like her a lot. Don't worry. Just take it easy on her. She will come around. I hope so. <laughs> I really, really hope so. Okay. I must confess you're a nice person. There's something very difficult to find in this industry. Hmm. How sure are you? Of us. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm full already. I passed through an eatery and I had lunch before I started coming. So as you can see, I'm full already. Then let me do justice to my stomach. Right on. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. King, you said you actually were an integral part of this industry before you traveled out. Yes, sir. So. Why did you leave? Well, oh, I, as funny as it may sound, I have officiated in different departments in the industry. I worked as a PA, yeah. I worked as a sound man, I did work as uh, a continuity person. In my bid to act, but unfortunately, there was no luck. Yeah. So I decided to travel abroad, go make some cool cash, come back, and take charge. <laughs> From what you just said, it's obvious that you're not a greenhorn as far as this game is concerned. Of course, yes. <laughs> you're not, you're very experienced. So tell me, what are your plans? Well, I actually came back to make good movies. When I returned, I asked questions and I was directed to you. I was told you make good movies and that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I must say I'm very happy to hear that. Okay. That is why it is very good for one to be good at what he does. True. I am very good when it comes to movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see. Yeah. Okay. 
So, I want a good script, okay? And I want it as soon as possible. Well, that's interesting. You see, the basis of every good film is the script. True. You will have to come to my set. I will introduce you to a very competent script writer. Maybe we'll take it up from there. Oh, really? Yeah. So when will that be then? Well... Uh, continuity. Sir? What scene are we shooting? Synthetic, sir. Synthetic? Yes. Okay. So are they ready? They're still making hot cocoa up. What's the meaning of all this nonsense? Go and marry them, I beg. I'm not sure they stay. Alright? Nobody should get me angry. You, you've been acting weird since today. What's it to Honestly, I've not been in the right frame of mind since morning. And I don't want anybody to compound it. I noticed, Director. I noticed that, I mean, you've not been looking bright all day. You know, what, what, what stupid and idiotic script writer I told to come and meet somebody? Eh? An important personality at that. An idiot told me that he cannot come. Did he, did he give you his reasons? What stupid reason? Eh? He said I should tell the person to either call him or send him a mail. C can you just imagine? <laughs> he must be a superstar script writer. Then. I will tell him he's a nobody. Yes. I will drop his name on our platform. Uh, and I swear, uh, nobody, no director will ever call him again. Please, please. Listen to You know us. I know. We, we make you and we mar you. I know. Yeah, hey, I'll talk, I destroy, I destroy. I, I, uh, director, can you just understand that the, the last four names that's dropped on your platform are not working today. They are still on suspension. <laughs> you know what we can uh, do please, now. Please, I not take one. Temper justice. No, 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 no. If you toy with us, we destroy you. Hala hala, life in the industry. Fake life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. Yeah. We can't continue like this. Let's do something. Let's do something, please. Oh, good afternoon. Are you the one holding us? Not at all, sir. I'm not even in the plant scene. I so, just came to see you. Okay, I hope there's no problem. Or oh, did you bring anything for me? <laughs> not yet, sir. Um, sir, I heard you were looking for a script writer, like a, a good script. And who told you that? I actually overheard them talking about it, so I decided to come and meet you. Uh, and so, so, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so, can I show the person my script? Because I actually have a very good script. I'm a good script writer. Which script are you talking about? My own script, sir. My script. So, if they call out script writers now, you will just come out? Eh? I don't understand, sir. Sir, I, I was just talking about the script which I wrote and I'm sure that the person is going to like it. So, you, you will listen to me. I cast you in my films because I know you can act. I don't know you as a script writer. At all. No, why not tell me you now direct so that I will understand it. But sir, you've not seen my scripts. You, you need to see Listen it for you to, to me. I don't need to see it to know that it is junk. Good evening, Eddie. What do you know to write? I, I, listen to me. I don't just want to get angry. Nkiru, please go. Go and concentrate on your job. I beg. Uh -uh. What, what, what nonsense? You, 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 you are writing scripts. That's the problem we have in this business. Square backs and round holes. Everybody is a script writer. Dear, I am tired. In fact, it's this life I, I, I give up on it already. What, what's going on now? What is all this? Is this how we're supposed to survive? Ah, no job. Then the little one we have all in the name of acting, they don't even pay us any reasonable amount. So how do we survive? NK, everything will be alright. Hmm. It is not usually easy at first. Everything will be alright. When? When all of us would have developed ulcer. 
or when hunger would have swiped us out from, from the surface of the earth. That's when, or maybe I should go and stand on the road and be like, I'm an actor, please help me out. That's when everything will be fine. Okay, no, now you ask yourself. The script that I wrote long time ago, I've been trying to give it to someone. I've been trying to give it to all the people that want to produce it. They don't even collect it from you. They don't even want to see what I wrote inside there because I'm a nobody. Is that life? Life is frustrating. It's not easy. Nobody wants to hear anything from me. Even to take the script free of charge, just produce by. <sighs> Listen to me. Almost all the established writers you know today suffered the same frustration. So you have to continue pushing until something happens. Until when? Until what happens? Please. I better give you water, make a drink. Some way something happens. When Nigeria changes from Nigeria to Africa. <laughs> Town who I need to see. A producer? Yes. Who's he? A he? What makes you think he's a he? Can't this new producer be a she? Well, that's because the hot coco I know can only dress in this outfit to go see a he and not a she. Well, his name is King. If you insist, I'll tell you. His name is King. I heard he came in with lots of dollars. I, Hot Coco, need some of that money. <laughs> Who? King? Yes? I wish. I, I know the guy. The guy is broke. What? He's freaking broke. He only came back to Nigeria to to sleep with girls all in the name of producing movies. That boy is my boy. You see that boy? He's a froster. What? What are you talking about? He's a froster. Oh, wait. Tell me about it. Oh. All right, guys. I gotta go now. Say bye bye to my fans. Hey guys, it's your girl Sydney. I love you. <laughs> Melody. Melody here. I love you guys. Keep it real. Bye. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs> <coughs> So tell me, how many views did you get? You can't believe it, girl. 200 views! Just that? <laughs> Wait. You mean you've been stretching your voice all this while because of 200 views? <laughs> Sydney. Okay, tell us. How many views have you gotten? Well, the least view I have gotten was um, 3,000 views. And that day, girl, I was so pissed. I can't waste my time and energy because of 200 views. Hell no. Look, Sydney, we know you've got a lot of followers, but do not rub it in. Stop it. Don't mind, Sydney. Eh? Don't. Baby girl, I was just playing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are we good? Yes. Girls, listen. I heard about this new producer in town. And I probably heard he has lots of money. I'm thinking of paying him a visit. Hi. You know what I mean? Ashawu. First class Ashawu. That is what you are. Both international and local. What is wrong with you? Okay, so um, in your small mind, you think you are the only person who's got eyes on him, right? Well, for your information, I also have my eyes on him. Yes. I mean, my dad, it's high time I started getting lead roles now. 
in your widest dream, bitch. Can you imagine? No, go ahead. Go ahead and throw your body count on that good for nothing broke dude. Hmm. BBC International. I hello. Madam, what do you mean by that? Why did you call him broke? You've not heard. That guy is broke, girl. He came into Nigeria to sleep around with celebrities and leave. He's not yet to produce any movie. All what you guys are saying, mere camouflage. You know, mare. You, you, you know, I've always known that you have a big mouth. Every time, cho -cho 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 -cho. this your mouth will land you into trouble one day. Okay, tell me, where is this gist coming from now? Where? What is it just called? BBC. I know they carry fake news, At girl. At all. You cannot. You can never carry fake news. Again, <laughs> again. Hala hala, life in the industry Fake life is now the order of the day No one agrees to be struggling yeah. How do you do? Um, I'm fine Mr. Need, right? Who doesn't know the big celebrity of I watch a lot of Nollywood movies on YouTube So, I should know So, what are you doing around here? Um, well, I was with my friends at the bar, so I saw you walking past. Right? Oh, so I really? following, yeah. All right. So, hope I'm safe. You're very safe, sir. You're very safe. Um, I heard you are uh, in town to produce movies. Well, I can see you guys have a very strong information dissemination structure around here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yes, yeah. All right. All right. See you soon. Life in the industry, fake life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. Some I get, they act them no get. Why some no get, they act like them get. Everyone about they no one to slack. They don't want to dollar. So I say, fake life. The order of the day, fake life, the bad wanna lose the game. Fake life, it's not the order of the day. I can again fake life, it's not the order of the day. Fake life, the bad wanna lose the game. Fake life, it's not the order of the day. I listen. This one say I got a million million. And another one to say I got a belly belly Nobody knows who's saying the truth Cause everyone a bowser <laughs> Original Hard life to provide the reality Fake life in the industry community No one can showcase humility I sing again Hard life to provide the reality Fake life in the industry community Hello Having some car trouble? Yes, I don't know what is wrong with my car. It just stops me at the middle of the road. So why not call a mechanic to fix your car? I have already. He's on his way here, but I have a, I have a urgent meeting. So you want to leave the car here? Yes, I will. The mechanic will come pick it up. I just have to be at the meeting, like right now. So. What's the venue of your meeting? Let me see if I can help you. It's just down the road, not far away from here. You mean it's close by? It's just here, just down the road here. Alright, lock up, let me help you out. Thank you so Thank much. You to your meeting. Thank you so, so much. So, let me quickly talk. Hala hala, life in the industry. Fake life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. Hey, some I get, they act, they no get. Why some no get, they act like them get. Everyone about, they no one to slack. They don't want to dollar. 
So I say, fake life, start the order of the day. Fake life, the bad they wanna lose the game. Fake life, it's not the order of the day. Again, again, fake life, it's not the order of the day. Fake life, nobody wanna lose the game. Fake life, it's not the order of the day. I, I listen. This one say I got a mele mele, and another one say I got a belly belly. Nobody knows who's saying the truth, cause everyone a bossa. <laughs> Original. Her life took over the reality. Fake life in the industry community. No one can showcase humility. I, I, I sing again. Her life took over the reality. Fake life in the industry community. No one can showcase humility. I, I. Hala hala, life in the industry. Fake life. So this is where you're coming to, right? Your meeting venue. Yeah. All right. So you were here to produce a movie. Wow, that's beautiful. Hmm. Yes, of course. I met a director called Carvers, and he recommended a lady called Hot Coco, and I will be using her for the next movie. Of all directors, why Carvers? That pot belly Carvers, that is controlled by that thing in between his legs. Look, they are fantastic actors, and Hot Coco, she's not fantastic. She just managed to slip away to the top. They are fantastic directors and fantastic actors. I can introduce you to them if you wish. But I've always watched Hot Coco on screen several times. I must say, she's good. She's good at what she does. I'm not saying she's bad. But, I'm, but what I'm saying is, you need more than good to produce a good movie. Those people you just mentioned, they are not just going to kill your career, but they will kill it before it starts. Look, I have good directors and good actors I can introduce you to, if you would let me. Oh, really? Yes, you really have to think about it. Well, thanks for your advice. I'm a good businessman. I definitely will think about what you just said. I sure will. All right. All right. Once more, thanks for the ride. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Please think about it. I sure will. It's for most, your own good. Most definitely. All right. Take care of you. All right. Do have a wonderful meeting. Sure. And a wonderful day ahead. Sure. You too. All Bye. All right. Safe. You, you've come back with so much money. I'm sure Nollywood is in your hand like this. Yes, Nollywood like money, especially this one where you carry better bread, come back. Once you have money, it's back to back for you, Nollywood. It's not as easy as you think, bro. It's not. At all. How? Too many haters around. Backbiters. I mean, even to get a good script is taking like forever. Are you trying to tell me you guys don't have good script writers around? Um, it's not like we... 
I'll recommend someone for you. I'm sure you'll like her. I'm not saying she's an expert, but I'm sure when you get the script, you know if it's good or not. Okay, very well then. So where do I get to see her? Uh... about acting that makes it stand out. I mean, that's why musicians, footballers, and even politicians want to act. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody who is popular wants to act. Everyone. Imagine. Everyone. It's crazy. Have, right? Um, why is he here? He obviously didn't get the rush he expected. So he's now coming to the film village. Mm -hmm. So we will know that he's still around. <laughs> My dear, honestly, that guy disgusts me. Mm. I mean, what does he even take us for? Who does he think he is? He cannot get money. Just a para. He show himself. I will make sure I expose that idiot. Really? How are you going to do that? Well, that yeah, I will. will not be necessary. And how the young man make a fool of himself? That I suggest. That guy is a big fool. I even heard that all the cars has been driving around. He borrows them. Very soon he will run out of cash to borrow things. So let me see what he will do. Hey! hey. Can you there is nothing one won't see. Honestly. This one is what we call inside life matter. <laughs> Honestly, the situation is very annoying. The industry has become a dumping ground for mediocres. Mm. As a matter of fact, it is now saturated with dropouts, never do wells, people who know nothing about filmmaking, people who think that film directing is just about calling shots, action, action. No, it's beyond that. They are the ones spoiling the business for us. It's a, it's a very pathetic situation, I must confess. And the most annoying thing is that they are still directing. Are you serious? But that's very bad. It's not just bad. Being bad is an understatement. It's a very pathetic situation. It's quite unfortunate. And that is why people like me charge what I charge. Because I know what I'm doing. Okay. The truth of the matter is that you can ask questions. My films have never been rejected. But, I mean, that's why I'm here. So, so we could discuss and talk business. Okay. So, what about the scriptwriter I requested for? Forget about the idiot. I called him and he told me... What did he even tell me? He was claiming to be busy. He told me he was busy. On a phone, I'm busy. Never mind, I will... I will call somebody else, okay? Well, not to worry. Someone already recommended a scriptwriter to me. That's interesting. Yeah. And what's the person's name? Uh, Inkiruka Udo is her name. What did you just say? Did I say anything bad? I said Inkiruka Udo. And who is the idiot that told you that Inkiruka is a scriptwriter? This is how they end up killing people's businesses. The young girl cannot even write her name. Omari Dafia. This is a girl that just came from the village. She thinks she's unfortunate just because she's fair in complexion. Therefore, uh, she, can, she can make it easily in the business. No. She can't write her name. She's just there, delving into everything. Acting, directing, maybe uh, script writing too, like you said. I see. So, a jack of all trade, you mean to say? That is what she is. She knows nothing. Damn. She can't even put down her name. It was. You can ask questions. I hate people like that. I'm not going to go here. Ah. Good afternoon, sir. 
good afternoon, my dear. How may I help you? Sir, my name is Ikiru Kaudo. I was actually told that you're looking for a scriptwriter. Yeah, I was, but not anymore. I already have a scriptwriter. Sir, please. I am a very good scriptwriter. I write unique stories and different stories. Something that is top notch. Just give me a chance so I can just go through my script. I'm sure maybe you'll change your mind. You will like it, sir. Well, I don't think there'll be need for that anymore. I already have a writer. Uh, listen to me. Almost all the established writers you know today suffered the same frustration. So you have to continue pushing until something happens. Until when? Until what happens? Uh, sir, 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 please. I am sure someone gave you a chance in life. I'm sure someone helped you one way or the other. Sir, please, I need your help. Give me this chance. Sir, please, I'm just asking for one chance. Trust me, you will love my scripts. Please, I beg you, some on my knees. King. Hi, Emira. How are you doing? Fine, stressed out. I've been filming since morning. Oh, I see. So, you going home now? No, no, no. I'm not done for today. I'm still working. It's just that I saw you with that girl in Kiru. And I came to warn you to please stay away from that girl. She knows nothing about script writing. Please, before she kills your career. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I need to be on my way now. Yes, it's just that I saw her talking to you. And I know it must be about script writing. That girl cannot even make a good sentence. Please stay away from her. It's for your own good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, just in case you need my help in any way, just, you know, call me. All right. All right, I'll see you around. All right, take, take care, care of you. yourself. Okay. Be good, okay? Bye. So, my name is Vanessa. I am a makeup artist and also an actress. I'm here to welcome you and to also inform you that we will render wonderful services. And I'll be very glad to work with you, sir. Sir, um, here is my card. Oh, you're from sir? Yes, sir. Okay. And so please, um, have this, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, this for me? Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, really? All this for me. Okay. All right. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, thanks for the wine. I'll call you if I need your services. All right. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Right. I will be expecting your call. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Life in the industry, fake life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. Yeah. It seems you've forgotten the meaning of my name. Nkiruka. <laughs> it means the one that is in future is rather than the one that I lost. Do you understand it? I cannot believe that my script is finally on a producer's desk. Who am I? I am so happy. <laughs> Easy with your jubilation. He said you should bring your scripts. He did not say I must shoot the script. Uh, what's the difference? With the level of authority and confidence that I have in my craft, there is nobody that will read my script and will not want to shoot it. You know your girl now. I know, huh? but don't jubilate yet until he approves it. Well, I was planning on sending three scripts to him. As a matter of fact, I do not need any payment from him. He can just take, I just want my scripts to be short. I just want people to see how good I am in the script writing, you know? I am happy. Fine. Send it first. I will. You're not happy with me. I am happy for you. I'm happy for me now. It's my okay. laugh to me. Ma, please, what can I offer you? 
Fai. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just here to see your boss. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Okay, just relax. My boss will soon join you. Sure. Thank you. I was here to see a friend that lives close by, so I decided to stop by and say hi. But you should have at least called. Pardon me, it skipped my mind. Don't worry, next time I'll call. Did you just say next time? What do you mean by the word next time? An international businessman like you should understand what that means. Wouldn't you at least offer me a seat? All right, pardon my manners. Please sit. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what do I offer you? How about you offer me yourself? Myself? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? I'm just joking. Whatever you have is fine. The first time I came to this house was for your friend. But ever since then I have been coming here for you. I like you. I've been trying to wave it. The more I try, the stronger my feelings grow towards you. I cannot continue to deny it because of your friend. I like you. Well, well, you came to see her. Not anymore. Moreover, she doesn't even want me. She doesn't like me. Oh, why will I continue to waste my time on someone who doesn't like me? Please, you have to go now. I, I can't do this. I understand. I'll go now. Don't ever try to send me away again. Take our time. Think about us. It will work between us. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Harlot? Hot Coco, what is the meaning of this? Shut up. Hot Coco, wait in now. Coco, please, 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 just calm down. Okay? We can resolve whatever it is without violence. Please keep quiet. I haven't come here for you. I am here for this harlot. So better respect yourselves and act like ghosts. What is your problem? Have you lost your mind or something? Oh no! 
You are the one who has obviously lost your sense of time. What were you thinking? Oh, that you can easily throw yourself at Chief and then he will do everything for you. Oh no, my darling, you failed. You failed woefully. I don't want to talk too much because it's obvious to me that all of you have ganged up against me. But you know what? What I have for you is wait and take. Just five minutes wait and take is what I have for you all. You cannot do a thing. Yes, I said so. You can't do anything. Now when you are done ranting, bounce before I change my mind. Oh, really? So what exactly do a riffraff like you think you can do to me? What can you do to me? Okay, darling. News flash. <laughs> Your note picture that you sent to Chief. All of them are already in my phone. Oh, what were you thinking? That he's going to buy you a car because he bought me a car? It's quite unfortunate for you, darling. Because that isn't going to happen. Hot cuckoo. Chief is a married man. You stole him from his wife and now you have a problem with someone else stealing him from you? No! Coco, honestly you fall my heart. <sighs> like seriously, you're shame be shame me. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you woke up this morning, took your bath, applied cream, wore your clothes, entered your car, drove down to this place. All because of what? Ah, will you shut up, you dirty thing? How dare you talk while I'm talking? Have you lost it? Well, I have no time for you. I am directing this to you, you harlot. If you as much as say hello to Chief again. <laughs> oh my word. I am so going to distribute all your new pictures to all the bloggers in town. Hot Coco, you dare not! You can't try that! If you try this, I swear to God, I will have you killed. This is not a threat. It is a statement of fact. Oh my God! Tell me! Baby girl, yes I will. Try me! Cheap thing. Okay, 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 so Steve will just tell me. Because I, I don't seem to understand this. Did you send your nudes to that man for real? No, that's not the question. That man is a fool. Why would he allow something that is meant for his eyes alone to be seen by another? And why will a woman send her nudes to a man? Did that man send his nudes to you? Even if he did. I mean, what is so special about a man's nakedness? What? Enough of all this nonsense. Enough already. Listen, I am the one in the center of this whole thing. It is my nude, and it is also my game. Why are you staring at me like that? Because you seem so perturbed. I mean, you look disturbed. What's going on? If you want to say something that is bothering you, then you can tell me anything, you know? Robert came here and he was acting strange. Robert came and was acting strange. What did he say? What did he do? <sighs> Come off it, Vanessa. Say something. He told me he's in love with me. Can you, can you imagine such nonsense? He said that to you. You love him as well. I never said that. And I have never thought of him in such a way. Oh, please. Listen, Vanessa. I can see it in your eyes. You love this man. You love Robert. So why are you hiding it from me? I am not hiding anything from you. If Robert is the man that you want, you can have him. I can't prevent you from having him just because I don't want him. No. I don't I don't know. Like I don't know what to say right now. 
You don't need to say anything. You have my blessings. You can have robot. Seriously, no cap. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I I don't know why I cannot stop thinking about him. <clears throat> <laughs> but he said you don't like him and he cannot continue trying to win someone that does not want him well at least he's sensible enough now and then he got to notice that I do not even want him that means he has received some senses so you see I wish both of you best of luck Ta -na -na, my girlfriend is in love <laughs> you know we need to do this <laughs> it's okay I, were you scared to tell me Oh, please. I don't want him. She's a hot girl girl. She's a hot girl girl. Her body go keep personal. You know I have to get going. Hmm? I can't keep staying in your house while my mansion is empty. We got her back. So when will you create time? And take me to your mansion. You know, one of my domineering aunts stays there. Well, I'm putting up a bungalow for her somewhere in town. Okay? Very soon, I'll be done. I will have all the time in the world. I honestly do not understand. Don't you want me to meet your aunt? Oh, darling. Trust me, you won't meet this one. This one is a bag of trouble. Trust me, darling. I was even thinking there's a girl there. Maybe that's why you don't want to take me there. Hey. Oh. I've been with you in this house for a while now. Have you noticed any suspicious call? No. And come on. We have to take things one step at a time. Okay? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, darling. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Mm. I have to get going now. Mm? I'll see you. Okay, baby? I'll see you too. Ah, oh, come here. Come here. Mm. I have to leave now before I get engaged again. <laughs> Bye, darling. Bye. Yes. Oh. Hello? Yes, I'm close to the office. Just wait for me. I'm coming. I'm coming with the samples. You've seen the samples already? Oh, in that case, what? Oh, listen, we have 50,000 pieces in the warehouse. And if you want more, I can call my German Connect. They will send more, more goods. Yes. But not to worry, I'm not far away from you. You'll see me soon. Just a few minutes away from the office, yeah? Yeah, just, okay, okay, okay. See you soon. All right, bye. I am totally not in support of what Sydney did. Yes, it's just that I couldn't have you insult me just like that. Honestly, Emerald, I do not have time for all this. I don't. You and Sydney are the least of my worries. I have so many things I'm thinking about right now. I have something bothering me and not this rubbish. What is bothering you? Please tell me, what is bothering you? Go ahead and tell me, please. Isn't it Brendan? I honestly do not understand this kind of relationship. He has blatantly refused to take me to his mansion. He only comes to visit me here. And each time I tell him that I want to go with him to his house, he keeps giving me excuses. You are not serious. You mean you have a boyfriend that has a mansion and you're not enjoying the mansion life? That is exactly what I just said to you now. I just said it to you. 
And honestly, it's getting me really angry. No wonder. I mean, yes, no wonder I've not been seeing you. I mean, pictures of you on social media with hashtag chilling in Bay's mansion. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm just joking. So what do you want to do now? I just have this feeling that there is a woman in that house and he's hiding it from me. There is a woman in that house and each time I think of this, it drives me nuts. Okay, fine. Do not worry your small head. Just leave that to me. I'll handle it. I'll just run an investigation on him and get back to you. You don't have to disturb yourself. Okay? I mean, don't let it bother you. At least give me something to drink. Offer me a drink. Life in the industry. Fake life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. Some are get, they act them no get. Why some no get, they act like them get. Everyone about. <laughs> Of course, guys. Yes, the deal has been sealed, okay? So, yes, yes, yes. Um, look at what you do now, huh? Call a sound, um, a truck company. Let's get a sound truck that can deliver everything we have in that warehouse because it's been paid for. Yes! <laughs> As I speak to you, I have the alert in my phone. I've received money for the entire goods we have in that warehouse. You see, my celebrity status is helping a whole lot. Yes, people don't need to... Um, tell me they will come by. Once they confirm the status, they confirm that I'm the owner of the business. They even pay money into my account before seeing their goods. And that's the power of being a celebrity. <laughs> yes, like I said, um, call the truck company, let them get us a sound truck, load everything in that warehouse and get ready for delivery. I'm coming as soon as possible, okay? All right. Yes, bye. I'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye. Answer whoever calls on this phone. Tell them that I am busy. Okay, ma. Let me bring you the other phone and things. Okay, ma. I must find a way to hold this man. He is every woman's dream. And I cannot afford to lose him to any other person. Baby. Also. Hmm? Oh, come on. Baby, why is your face like this? I don't know why you will always insist that we should use your house. And you know I don't like here. This place is irritating me. Come on, babe. Come on. Huh? If you don't like it here, then you get me a better apartment. Is that what you want? Uh, yes, and also my car is old. Huh? I need a new car. Which one first? Is it a new car or the apartment? Uh, baby, I want a new car. Baby, I want this type of your car. I want a Benz. Huh? Baby, you know in the industry, we need cars for packaging. Huh? Don't you want your baby to be a big boy? I want to be a big boy. <laughs> mm. Okay. Consider it done. What? Is that not what you want? A car. I give it to you, you know? Baby, you see, you see why I love you? I want to thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Baby, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. Ooh. Consider it done. We'll do it for you as long as you remain loyal. Maybe I am always loyal. Really? I am. <laughs> Mama, what makes you say that I don't want to get married? 
I am not just lucky. All the men that come my way are not serious people. Mama, stop. I don't like the pressure you're putting on me. I will get married when I see one. Mama, please, please. What is this? What is this? I don't care if he works in an oil company or not. Mama, my happiness is what counts in marriage. Not all this money you're talking about. Enough, Mama. I will call you later. Uh -uh. What was that? My dear, is it not my mom? She can't just be in the US and be controlling my life here. She's just making an arrangement for one um, Oyo Mogu to marry me. And you know I'm not interested in that now. An Oyo Mogu? Yes. But you know what? He can as well be the CEO of NNPC. I don't freaking care. Alright? I just have to concentrate on my career before all this marriage thing. Babes, 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 babes. What is this now? Eh? Ha! So someone cannot sleep in peace again in this house. Eh? And what's all this noise about? Men? Oh, my sister, I am sorry. Is it not my mom? Eh? Marriage, 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 yeah, and then. Wait, what if she has the list of all the wealthy men in this country? She will just tie me to one of them. There is nothing someone will not see in this house. Ne help me and Jojo. Mothers are so unbelievable. Shut up, Sydney. You're the unbelievable one. How many mothers do you have? Because the last time I checked, you said your mom is in Abuja. When did she fly? Uh, Emerald. That is not the bone of contention now. Melody, just ignore her. She's just being jealous. Eh? Jealous? Jealous of you for what? Oh, oh, wait. You think I didn't hear everything you said on the phone before you twisted it? Oh, please, Sydney. You can deceive everyone but me. I should be asking you if something is wrong with you. Meaning? You heard what she said. She said she heard you talking on the phone before you twisted the call. And I ask you, Sydney, did you twist the call? Melody, I think you should just go back into your room and continue sleeping your sorrows away. I do not have time for classless chicks. Oh, please, we know who the classless people are. King not picking up his calls. I don't get it. What's going on? Madam, what's the problem? It's King. I've been calling him, he's not returning my calls, nor replying my messages. Maybe he's busy. Just calm down. Busy. Are you kidding me? Listen, I think he has found another writer. We better stay here. He does not even like our storyline. My instinct tells me so, and that is where it is. Ah, stop assuming things. Stop assuming things like that. Maybe he is very, very busy. Boy, he should at least pick up my calls. Just say something, you know, tell me something that will just make me relax. Even if he has got another writer, I don't have a problem with that, but let him just pick up my calls. You <sighs> can worry. Eh? Calm down. Before you give yourself high BP, just calm down. Hey, what's going on? What are we celebrating? 
We're not celebrating anything. I just want to spice up things for you, my love. Come on, my love. You, as I thought you said you wanted us to discuss something. Huh? As a matter of fact, I have a meeting the next 30 minutes. A business meeting, actually. But this will not take up to 30 minutes. Come on with me. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, oh, okay, fine. But I don't have a condom left. Finish the last supply I had there. And so? Do, do you have any? Do I sell condoms? Come on, my darling. Do you have any infection? I believe you don't. Well, I don't as well. So let's do this. Come on. Baby. Baby, Come with I'm me. warning you. Come here. I'm warning you, baby. <laughs> I'm warning you. This bed I just said, it's hard to. I person won't tell me money for this kind of thing. I just like go win at all. I know if you sabi to him. I won't go now to teach you this way. Hey, baby girl! Yeah, yeah. I have landed. You know? Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> you roll bank? Ah. No, my baby took me out for shopping. Which baby? You don't get another baby, one, no, no. Huh. Another baby, what? It's the baby you know now. Which one? Robert. The same baby. The same Robert. Okay. That's nice. My dear, I was shocked today. It is not good to judge people from their looks, too. That guy is a multi-millionaire. If you see the mansion he lives in, you will faint. Are you joking? I am telling Wait, it's the same Robert, my own Robert. The Robert that was begging me to be his girlfriend. No, Robert bought this thing for you. Lives in a mansion, how? It shocked me too. That guy is not an ordinary person. He has companies all over the country. If you listen to his call, you'll be shocked. Hey! I knew it. I just knew it. I knew it, you And you're just destined to die as a poor wretched woman. What is I this? knew it. I just knew that my village people have been using my case file as a mirror. So this is how I lost the diamond that God gave me on a platter. Just like that. No. Don't say it in hey! like that. Do not say it in like that. When your home comes, no matter how many times you say no, he will never leave. Eh, 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 eh. Vanessa, I beg you in the name of God. Just let me be. I need some fresh air. No try patronizing me with those words. Let me mourn my loss and my spirit in peace. Ah! What is wrong with me? But he is still within. Thank goodness I said yes. Thank God you allowed me to have him. It would have been worse if an outsider enjoyed this man of super wealth. Yes, if we look at us an outsider. Hey! Fast, 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 fast. Almost done. I don't know why you're so stupid. You're lazy. Can't you just do this and let me go and film? What is wrong with you? Can you ever be civil in your life? Must you call us stupid? Can't you talk? 
Just leave her alone. Oh Just go, I will join you shortly. I won't have her insult you again. Please, I will join you shortly. It's obvious you want to have problems with me on the set. have problems with me. What, what's wrong with this one? Look at him. Rex, I don't touch my face! Don't touch my face! Nonsense. I like the way you spoke up for me. She hasn't recovered from the shock still. Listen, I don't like the way she insulted you. I won't take it. I have told you before, you are not meant to serve people. You are a queen. People are meant to serve you. I know. But I cannot just quit like that. Just give me some time. Time? Time. The next time that happens, I won't let it slide. Insulting people has become part of many people. But I've learned to live with it. That was then. Not now that you are my queen, no one will insult you. Don't let that happen. You don't have to join issues with them, okay? You still don't get the point. Now that you are my queen, no one, no one will insult you. Honestly, I'm surprised. The scriptwriter I sent to you is one of the best around here. He's very good at what he does. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I must be very honest with you. I don't like uh, the story the said writer emailed to me. I mean, very flat. Very, very flat. Well, I don't like his kind of story. But if that's too much for you to handle, I'll have to source for another writer myself. To be candid, I see nothing wrong in that story. I read it. It's a nice one. That's the kind of story that sells, yes. Well, with due respect, noble director, uh, I don't like that story. I cannot accept that story. Well, if you insist, there's no problem. I will get somebody across to you, okay? Perhaps you will tell him exactly what you want. Is that okay by you? Very well then. A great story is all I want. Is that too much to ask for? No, not at all. Not at all. Very well then. Get a good night. I cannot believe this. You know, one won't be able to know that this guy is rich at all. It is not even show on him. The same way I felt the first day I found out. I just wish he could dress better. Well. He doesn't just pick interest in what he wears. That's just it. <sighs> what a day. Oh, my leg hurts. Well, my dear, he just doesn't pick interest in what he wears. That's all. Look at this car. Just a normal car. How I wish he shows off a little so that people will start respecting him. My dear, riding a big car doesn't make people to respect you. It doesn't make you any even respect. Listen. If you don't like the way he dresses, the way, I mean, the kind of guy he drives, why don't you just tell him, talk to him, he's your man. He loves you and I'm sure he's going to listen to you. Do you think I should do that? He may misunderstand me and feel that I am getting involved in his personal life. But that's not true. This is your man we're talking about here. You guys are going to or might spend the rest of your lives together, right? So you better start setting your pace, tell him what you want and what you don't. I mean, with love. That's it. I will think about it. Don't worry, he will adjust. Ah! Oh, that reminds me. I noticed he's close to King. Please, help me beg Robert to talk to King. You know, let me know why he's not replying my messages or talking to me. I need to know what's coming on. I will do that. But keep your feet alive. I'm trying. 
You see, when I add faith to my son, him, that's when you know that I have faith. Please, my leg hurts. Ah, I went around the whole month. Sorry. Sorry. You know I love you so much. I love you more. So when are you coming to the house? Weekend. Ah. <laughs> Weekend is fine. <gasps> Baby, there is something I want to ask you. Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead. Um, please, I want you to ask him. Why is he not replying, Kiru? She's getting worried by the day. Is that why you're frowning? All right, I'll put a call through. Is that all? I mean, th there is something else I want to tell you. Please, don't be offended. All right, I'm listening. You know, we are in show business. And the major aspect of it is to show off. Of course I'm aware. That's what I've been trying to let you understand. I need you to be the talk of the town. I'm glad you're beginning to see reasons with me. Baby, please do not get it twisted. I am fine. This is not about me. I want my man to show off a little, at least from the way he dresses. Are you serious right now? I'm sorry if you don't like what I said. But a little show off won't hurt. I just want my man to capture many hearts. And when it does, will you be comfortable with that? Look at the way you're saying it. I want my man to capture many hearts. If he does, will you be comfortable with it? Have you thought about it? I trust my man. That is the most important thing. Listen, darling, it's not like I don't like fashion. It's just that I don't have time for it. You don't have time to buy yourself a nice car, too? And what is wrong with my car? That car has been serving me for years now. Everything is wrong with it. It doesn't suit you. How do you even feel packing just that car in that house of yours? I understand how you feel. I am giving you the go ahead. Change whatever it is that pleases you, because I don't have time. And as for my car, I'll drive all that cars. If you don't want me to drive this one, I will never drive it again. Yes, I, I called her. She said she'll be back soon, so I came to pick her up. Okay, call me. You're welcome. Thank you. Please. So, um, what do I offer you? Uh, it's said to be okay for now. Oh, sorry, Father, my man. You can sit. <laughs> um, you know, this is actually the first time we're meeting since then. I never had the opportunity to say I'm sorry, so I'm using this method to say I am sorry for the way I treated you. That was so bad of me. Come on, it's okay. All that is in the past now. Mm -hmm. I totally understand. Thank you. It's fine. Okay, um... Um, I... I spoke to King concerning your script. Really? You, you did? Yes, and... He said everyone discouraged him against it. Even to the point that he could not read my script? I tried convincing him to read the script. But he said no. That he cannot do something that will look like a complete waste of time. I haven't said this to you so you can break down. I 
want you to stay motivated. Someone else will like your script. Someone else will value your script. For now, just remain steadfast. Keep doing what you know how to do, okay? Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, so. Can you see you off? Uh -huh. read your script and did not like it. Please, stop crying. My problem is, he would have at least read my script. He would have at least just opened it up and just see what is inside. You know, I think I am in the wrong field. My mother once told me, my sister once told me, and I regret not listening to them. You are not in the wrong field. I have read your scripts. And you, I have compared them with the ones we shoot in the film village. Your scripts are wonderful. I believe in you. And you will be great. I will be great. Can you hear yourself talk? How? Like this? No, I, I, are you serious right now? My dear, you have to believe in yourself. Everything will be all right. Vanessa, it is high time you stop patronizing me with those words of yours. I am one of the people in the whole wide world who will never be great in this life. And you know it. Don't talk like that. Okay, ma. I want you to cancel all my appointments. Get ready to go to the market for me. I need fruits and vegetables. Okay, ma. I should also cancel your appointment with your boyfriend. Are you deaf? I just said you should cancel all my appointments. Till next week. I need to rest. Okay, ma. But, ma, what if he comes to see you? He won't come. I already told him I traveled. Just go, please. Okay, ma. Just calm down. You people should calm down, okay? I know I promised to bring you to the city, but I'm waiting for the right time. Sister, when is the right time? Eh? I'm tired of this village. Sister, me, I'm tired too. I'm tired. I need to leave this village. I'm too hot for this village. Now I want to go to the city. Don't worry now. Don't. Okay, you know what? I will bring you very soon into my new house, my husband's mansion. Okay? Hey, sister, sister, you're getting married. Sister is getting married. Hey, also my husband. <laughs> Sister is getting married. I'm so happy. Mama will be happy to hear this. Hey! Yes, yeah, so but don't tell her yet. Don't tell her yet. Okay, I'll tell her when I'm ready. Okay, okay, sister. No problem. No problem. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm going to the mansion. Oh, I can't wait to live in the mansion. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll call you. Hey! Sister! Sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. 
in his establishment, one after the other. Trust me. I have to tell him I own a fashion house and a studio as well. I thought you said this guy wants to marry you. Are you saying I'm lying or what? That's not what I'm saying. But when did you acquire a fashion house and a studio? And your friends do not know about it. When? And who said I own anything? Ha! Girl, now what for you? I just don't want the dude to see me as a liability. Simple. I don't want him to see me as if he's helping my life or something. Ha! Omo, that guy is thinkingly rich. <laughs> hey, see. Okay, so um, let me get something straight. What happens when you guys get married and this guy discovers that you have been lying to him? Oh, please don't mind Sydney. She's always playing a dangerous game. That won't happen. All I have to do is just double my hustle and make sure I acquire them before he returns. I pity you. Baby girl, you need that pity more than me. Girls, please leave me with my headache. It is my headache, so just leave it for me. I will just go in and flush it up. Like seriously, I don't understand Sydney. She lies a lot. How can someone be full of lies and fake lies? Now look at it. Today she will tell us her mom is in Abuja. Tomorrow US. And the next Canada. Does she take us for fools? <laughs> My dear, just ignore Sydney. Ignore her. You and I know the kind of person she is. My dear, this fake life of hers can only work for those on social media and those who watch her from afar. No, she actually thinks she can deceive us with this her fake diction and phonetics. Babe, you see Sydney, eh? She has not crossed border. You see Lagos? No, she has not crossed it. At all! <laughs> now she has succeeded in getting a man that loves her genuinely. And she wants to spoil things for herself. And so... No, 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 no. Wait and consign me. Eh? Should I be drinking Panadol for another man's headache? My dear, if she likes, she can spoil everything for herself. Melody, it's none of my business. She's our friend. Uh -huh. And so? And so? It's okay. It's okay, my dear. I want to change your wardrobe. I want you to be the one doing my jobs for now until I'm ready to work again. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. And um, I need you to go see my stylist. I need her to change your look. You need to be ready for the jobs ahead. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. God bless you, ma. No, it's Thank fine. You. It's fine. Take your stuff and go in. Right, Thank you, ma. You're welcome. She's a hot girl girl. Hey, hey. She's a hot girl girl. Hey, hey. Have a good trip, best man. Yes, who's there? Come. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Chica. Is this you? Me? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, is your life to fall down? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey. what's, what's, what's going on, Chica? 
Well, your sister has upgraded from a PA to your working class babe. What do you mean by that? Well, Hot Coco is on break for now and she wants me to be doing her jobs. Hot Coco is, I don't understand. And, and, and what, what, what did you say? I was very excited. I thanked her and she asked me to go and see her stylist. I'm just coming back from the salon. I am surprised that you are excited. What other job does she do? Other than sleep with men for money? Why would you say that? And why would she say that? No, tell me why would she why would she say that? You and I know that you cannot replace her in her acting skill. I mean, you don't even have a feature, not hot couple. So that means you are replacing her in her bed. I mean, the position side. Why would you even accept that? That's not true. She has a boyfriend. She doesn't sleep around. Listen to me. I want you to quit that job right now. Yes, yeah, right now. In fact, coming here is a very bad idea. It's obvious you're jealous of me. Excuse me. Was I'm jealous of her? Hot Coco is a fool here. How does she turn her being into a prostitute for money? Hot Coco wants to turn my own younger sister to a prostitute. Mama? Yes, Mama, don't worry. I will come to the village. We have something to discuss, something very important. No problem. Okay. Nkiru, you have to calm down. I've been thinking, and I've just realized that she's an adult and can do whatever she wants to do. It is not true. It will not happen, not in all families. Do you know how my mother will feel when she finds out that she has turned to a I mean, she has become a prostitute. What do you want me to do? What if she collapses? What do you expect me to do? Bury her? Um, Kiru, we just have to think of what to do. For now, there is nothing on my mind. Uh, Let's just pray she has everything. You see that hot cocoa girl? She has beaten Mother Chika. I will eat her raw. I will see her to shreds when I get to see her. Hot cocoa should be the least of our worries now. Let's think of what to do first. Hmm. I know what to do. Mama, it's not as if she has gone into this prostitution work fully. No, she hasn't. As a matter of fact, she had no idea what Coco had for her. She only went there with the hope that Coco has a job for her. That's it. Hey! You don't have to really blame her. Hey! My enemies! My enemies! My enemies have finally gotten to me. Oh! Oh, poverty. So you have succeeded in getting me, eh? Hey, God. Hey. Mm. If I was able to send my daughter to school, would she be in this condition? Mama, please don't even start. It is not your fault. You did your best as a mother. Do you know, we should be talking about going to her house to talk to her parents. Maybe they will be able to convince her, or maybe she will be able to listen. Mm. Hot Coco. My God will judge you wherever you are. My God will judge you. Hey! I gave you my daughter for her to work for you. Now you are converting her into a whore. My God will judge you. You shall not be well with her. Mama, 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 where are you going? Mama! Whatever you want to tell our parents, eh? we are here. Tell us. We are going to deliver the message for you. Our parents are not at home and we cannot allow you to enter our house. Huh? Yes. Yes. So just say whatever it is that you want to say here. Nano. Oh. Oh. It's like you girls don't have respect for mothers again. Okay? Are you a what? Oh, sorry. You are asking me if I am your mother. 
See, Nkiruka, the best thing for you to do for your mother is to just turn. Carry her out of a compound. Hmm? Take her out to avoid someone saying that someone beat someone's I mother. I tell you, eh? Chidema. Chidema, I tell you. Eh? Lay your hand on my mother and watch me beat you to right. Eh? Mm, don't you, you dare me. Take the commerce. Touch my mother and I'm a tiaka. Are you mad as you got not? I tell you to touch her. Touch her. And I heard you get I will beat you to like it. And I heard you get that. You said 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 You said that. You said You said that. that. You said that. You You said that. You You said that. 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 You I know what to do about them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Let's go. better follow her. Else, Let's go. I dog it out. Listen to me. Oh. I will follow her and go, but one thing is certain. I will come back. If yes. I were you two, I will be warming up. Mm. When, when you come, come back, back, what will you, you do? You if you come back, what will you do? I I don't you don't you don't you worry. Don't 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 worry. Let's go. I do I I I put them where they belong. Enough is enough. Mama, you cannot go to the city because you know your condition. You're not feeling fine. You can't go that far. I will go and visit her myself. I'm going sort her out myself. I'm a mom. But you know she won't take you serious. Allow me. I will be fine. Oh. Eh? Mama, I won't forgive myself if anything happens to you. Nothing will happen to me. Mama, I will, I will sort them out myself. You see, I'm talking about my least village. I will sort them out myself. Uh, uh, no, I said I want to go with you now. Mama, I don't need to go huh? with you. I will deal with them myself. Huh? Hey, 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 good. Eh? Good, hey, hey, hey. I need to go and meet that girl myself. I need to talk to her myself. Hey? What impetus? So you had the nerves to step your miserable feet into my house to threaten me? Huh? Okay. Have you suddenly forgotten who I am? Do you want to die by who you die for you? <laughs> My dear, yes, there were times I was scared of you, but not anymore. Not until I found out that you were nothing. You know, you were nothing but an insignificant of a pompous bag of shit. You were just full of shit. You can't do anything. Oh my God. Someone has gotten so big to talk back at me. Listen, you're tasting my patience right now. What are you going to do about it? I am going to throw you out like a common thief. You throw me out, you? You heard me? You throw me out? Yeah. You must be joking. Oh. Why don't you listen to me? Just a little bit of your breeze, your air comes close to me. I'll tear you into shreds. Dirty pig. Count today as one of your lucky days. Nonsense. I didn't touch you. You wanted to hit me? Huh? I only came here to drop one message for you. Coco or whatever they call you. The next time you will send my younger sister to deliver messages for you to your sugar that is not to talk about sleeping with them. I would so destroy you. I am not joking. Stay away from my sister. Look at this thing. Where did she get these gods from? Oh, we shall see. So you now tell your sister about me. So you now go seek me with that useless and good for nothing sister of yours. Mm, I don't. I did not. I, I was only happy that I, I would start doing your jobs. I never intended to tell her. Yeah. It just slipped through my mouth. Will you shut up? You told your sister things about me. 
and you intend living in the same house with me, it is not done. Uh -huh. She says you cannot keep secrets. You cannot live with me. Uh, Go in there. Shut up! Go in there, pack your miserable things and leave. Please don't send me away, please. I promise I'll, I will never tell her anything about you again, please. So you now agree that you told her. Please. Listen, I don't want to talk too much, right? Get out of my... I cannot live with you anymore. Uh, please, please, I promise you. I will never speak to her again. Please. Please, ma. Hey, will you shut up? I will only let the slide on one condition. Now listen to me and listen very attentively, Chika. You must not talk to your sister. And I mean every word of it. If you dare talk to her whilst you live with me, I am not going to throw you out of my house. I am still going to deal with you before throwing you out. Okay. I will never, I will never. Shut up! I'm going to get you a new SIM card. And I will have your line monitored. If you ever call your sister or your mother again, that is the day you're going to leave my house and you're leaving for good. Okay, and get out. Okay. That Ankiri wants to fight me. She is lucky that I do not want to hear stories about my baby. Should I tell Brandon about this? I mean, should I tell him about this pregnancy? Oh, no, no. I think I will wait till it's up to three months. He won't have a choice than to allow me to keep the baby. She's a hot girl girl. She's a hot girl girl. Chica, is that you? It's me. Wow. You look so beautiful. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Sir, I put Madame Kodosh around. Oh, yes. She did. You know, I was just around the neighborhood, so I thought I should come go with you in the end. Do you have any food in this house? No, I'll food go to the market. Oh. What about drinks? It's like he wants me. The way he looks at me and the way he compliments me. What do I do? Madame is not around. What if I go down with him, get pregnant, and he will marry me? In this way, my family will not be poor again. I am of late sin and if I can make him to sleep with me without protection, I will be pregnant for him and he will marry me. I I like you too. Okay? Hmm? I, I, I really like you so much. Stop please. Why? I don't like this. Hey, come on, come on, listen. I'm going to make you like it. Okay? I've got style. I've got the American style. You you you're going to like it so much. So you have to relax. I know what I like. Hmm? Definitely Darling. love this. Hey, hey, hey. 
relax. Okay? Trust me. Okay? Really? I know. <gasps> what are you doing here? Tolan! What, 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 what are you doing here? Huh? Why are what? you like this? For Christ's sake, why are you like this? I've been calling you all day to, 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 to have a time with you and you've been avoiding me. What's your problem? What did I do to you? No, you tell me. What did I do to you? Huh? I don't understand you. Why are you so paranoid? I just got back. You can ask her. She'll tell you. Yes. She's saying the truth. She just got back. Then why didn't you call me your phone? No, tell me. Why didn't you call me your phone? Well, I am sorry about that. Forgive me. It's not been long I got back. It's all, it's all right. I, I, I forgive you. It's not like I have a choice. Hmm? I forgive you. But come to think of it, you actually surprised me with your visit to my house without my notice. It has never happened. So why now? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I. There's, there's this very important document I've been looking for, you know? So I thought maybe I, I left it here, you know? So I had to come down here to search the, the, the room, you know, to see if I, I find the dead body. Well, that's why, that's why I'm here. Have you seen it? No, no, I couldn't find it. Okay, so I will just go back home and um, take my time and um, search my house. You know, you know the building is so big. That mansion is so big. Eh? I Brandon, wonder why I Brandon, bought... Brandon, bring it down. I mean, don't you notice that you, you've just been talking too much? Like, you've been stretching your words? Talking too much? Darling, I'm just overwhelmed that you're back. You know, <laughs> you know I missed you so much. Baby, I missed you, missed you. <laughs> Look at you, darling. Look at you. Ah, my own. Everything I missed. <laughs> Why don't we just go to the room? I mean, it's been two months now since we last had each other. What's going on with us? I've not been feeling too well. I need to go for checkup before waking out again. Hmm. It's alright if you insist. Darling, um, listen, I, I, have, I have something I need to take care of, okay? Um, I'm having a little issues with my, my bank, yeah. But I don't have the time to go rectify it because you know how it is in Nigeria, the line, the queue up and everything. I don't want to go through that process. So I don't know if you have like um, five million? Yes, the two token. Hmm. Five million, I need to, to I, I need it. Yeah. Come on, honey, you don't expect me to keep such money at home. Five million? Oh no, I don't have it. No, darling, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying if you, if you have it, I could give you the account of the person I want to help, you know, so you do the transfer to the person directly and not to me. Yeah? It's okay. Uh, just people keep it's okay. Uh, send the card number. Oh. Thank you very much, darling. Hmm? That's why I love you, my darling wife. We're going to make lots and lots of money together. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll give you back as soon as I rectify my... No, I trust issues. you. I trust huh? you. I know it's nothing to you. Um, Chica. I want you to go dress well. You look very, very beautiful. I need you to go deliver a message to Chief in the hotel. Did you hear me? Okay, and listen, I don't know why you're moping like a goat head. There is no money in this house. And I want you to come back here with the money. If you don't. <laughs> But ma, why not ask your boyfriend to give you some money since he's so rich? Will you shut up? What do you know? As you ask him to give me some money. I don't understand. You want him to start seeing me as a burden. As someone who can take care of herself. Oh, have you suddenly forgotten who I am? Hot Coco! The number one celebrity in Africa. Known by all, I should start begging for money like I don't have value. I don't understand it. Listen, if you want a man to love and appreciate you, do not ask him for money too much. With that, he will respect you. When he eventually marries you, then all the money will be yours. And listen, I don't know what the rubbish you're talking about. I need that money. Come back with that money. But, but what? 
are you behaving like a goat? Are you okay? Listen, go in and dress up. When you get to the hotel, go to the receptionist. Tell her that you're going to room 309 and your name. Am I well understood? Okay, now get out. If you don't come back with that money, don't return to this house. Stupid girl. You want to associate yourself with a celebrity where you won't work hard for it. You will pay! Look at way. No sense. Come here. Madam, where are you going to? I'm on a king's hunt. I have to tell him my peace of mind. I can't let this slide. I don't think that's a good idea. It doesn't matter if it's a good idea or not. The main important thing here is that I let him know my mind. I have to tell him how I feel. Don't you think it will provoke him? Who cares if it provokes him or not? Why is everyone scared of talking to this particular guy? Well, I will go to his place and I will tell him how I feel and that's it. Don't say I did not warn you. Because it will only make things worse. <laughs> well, sweetheart, let me take a good look at me. My life is already worse. There's nothing special about it. So there's no difference. What if I will he make? He can kill me for all I care. I am just going to tell him my peace of mind. Shoot yourself. Whatever. See you later, please. But don't come back. Do not come back crying to me. Don't come back crying to me. I won't. Right. Sure. I, I entered the hotel room and he started touching me. Mm -hmm. So I told him to stop touching me that I came to collect money, that he sent me to come and collect money from him. He touched my breast and made to force me to the bed. So I, I, I pushed him and ran out. What? You did what? You pushed who? You pushed who? I'm asking you that question. I'm what? I'm, I'm serious. The old man wanted to force me to bed. If not that he is too old and could not fight me, he would have raped me. Will you shut up or I shut it up for you? What were you expecting? Oh, that you're just going to go there, collect money and come back without working for it. You're a fool to have talked like that. You were supposed to sleep with him and then come back with the goddamn money. Wait. I, I, I was meant to sleep with that old man. Whose teeth has turned chocolate brown? A, a, a man o, o, older than my grandfather who is so I know. Shut up! Shut up! I shut it up for you. Now you have to go back to that hotel. Beg him for forgiveness and do whatever he asks you to do. Right now. Get out. Get out. Get out. You just go there, he'll give you money, start coming back without working for it. Now you know how to do this to stay in this house and eat my money. Don't come back here without that money, I'll kill you. I mean, what's the meaning of this? Why will I bring you into my sitting room and you are not talking? You listen. Whatever game you're here to play, I'm not interested. So, you may as well take your leave. Yeah. Wait. You want me to call the police? Excuse me, sir. You actually want to call the police on me for doing what? For not replying you? Do you actually feel bad? No, seriously though. I mean, you feel bad when people, I mean, when, when you get muted. You feel horrible, right? Then you see how it feels not to get a reply from someone, and now you see how it, how it feels not to, not to be given, an, I mean, a chance to prove yourself. You get it now, right? Look, I'm a very busy man. You should have known that my silence means that I am not interested. I mean, you should be used to stuff like yes, that. Yes, I am used to it, sir. Do you know why? Because you are a very wicked and heartless man. You don't have any conscience in you. You know, there's some people that, that stay abroad, they, they have this way of talking to people and they have conscience. But no, not for you. 
Oh. All your years was a waste of time. Really? Go on. Lecture me. I am not here to lecture you, sir. And now you listen. This is business. I am not interested in whatever your proposal is. You should be used to disappointments and failures by now. I am not interested in your works as well, sir. I do not need you to give me your petty jobs because I am fine without you. I just leave you to your conscience. Such nerves. Yes. If you do not mind, excuse me. No matter what I meet, right on my way to see my destiny. Going what you went for? How did this go? It doesn't matter all the obstacles I meet, I will keep What is it? Can you talk to me? What happened? Chica, what's that? What is it? I swear I am tired of both of you. Chica, you're very lucky that the old man did not rape you. When we were telling you, what did you do? See, I never knew my madam was doing something like that. She used to preach on Instagram against women selling their bodies for money. You need to see how she prays. And each time she goes out alone, she will tell me that she's going to work. I never knew that was the kind of work she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, naive girl. From the village, straight to her house. I don't blame you. Sister. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not listening to you at the first place. Please, just calm down. Everything is going to be okay. Now that I'm here, I will do everything possible to help you. Please forgive me, please. It's okay. I mean, the main important thing is that you've learned your lesson. We should be talking about how to help you out. I mean, you need to do something else apart from working for Coco. As for me, my case is a lost case. No, you don't talk like that. In as much as I am very angry with you for disobeying me and confronting King, I must tell you, my darling, your scripts are fantastic. If King refuses to accept them, another will accept them. That's how the world runs. I'm so sorry. I thought airing my mind up, you know, pouring out my mind would make me feel better. I never knew it was going to make it worse. I'm sorry. My father used to tell me that only fools give up on themselves. Never you give up. So babe, what will you do now? I don't know. Honestly, I am so confused. I don't know what to do at this point. I asked him to tell his sister to use another fashion house and studio. But he said no, that the girl wants to use the opportunity and get acquainted with me. Babe, honestly, this is a very big problem. A very big one. Hey, you. Why are you not saying anything? She's our friend, though. Eh? What do you want me to say? Sydney's fiance wants Sydney to allow his sister use a fashion house and the studio for her upcoming wedding next month. Mm -hmm. 
Sydney should go ahead and allow them use the fashion house and studio. Period. Emirad, what nonsense are you talking about? What are you saying? You know very well there is no fashion house or any studio. Listen, if you do not have anything important to say, just shut up. Really? Okay, fine. Let me enjoy my apple and mind my business. Look, Sydney, it's your problem. Fix it. Um, honestly, dear, this is a very big problem. Okay, um, why don't you find a studio and pay them to cover the marriage? Then you get a fashion house and pay them to make the clothes. You don't get it. Those people have money to pay whoever they want to pay. The kid is just being silly, jobless and looking for where to go. I don't know what to do. I even offered her own service, but she said no. She insisted on visiting. Man, baby, huh. honestly, <laughs> it don't choke you, eh? This is a very big wahala, a very big one, eh? One apple a day. Wait, wait. What did they say again about one apple a day? You are so disgusting. I am not interested. I mean, you should be used to stuff like yes, that. Yes, I am used to it, sir. Do you know why? Because you are a very wicked and heartless man. You don't have any conscience in you. You know, there's some people that, that stay abroad, they, they have this way of talking to people and they have conscience. But no, not for you. Oh. All your years was a waste of time. Really? That lady must be very rude. Such impudence. What gives her the audacity to talk to me in that manner? Roger, Frederick. But do you actually feel bad? No, seriously though. I mean, you feel bad when people, I mean, when, when you get muted. You feel horrible, right? Then you see how it feels not to get a reply from someone and now you see how it, how it feels not to not to be given an, I mean, a chance to prove yourself. You get it now, right? Mm. Well, this is my piece. Come to think of it, do I even owe her anything? Robert, this industry is a jungle. It's not as smooth as it looks from the outside. Mm -hmm. Say it. Thank you. But that is what I've been telling you. It's not a place for the faint-hearted. It's not smooth at all. It wasn't like this when I left so many years ago. But that was a long time ago. The industry is worse now. It's unfortunate that some people feel they own the industry, so no one else can grow in it. You be that. Hmm. Talking about growing, that script writer you introduced to me, everyone practically warned me not to read her scripts. But the girl knows nothing, so I didn't bother reading her script. I didn't. Why? You won't believe it, Robert. That lady came here. She insulted me. She even almost slapped me. She told me all my years abroad was a total mess and all a waste. 
But what's the essence of traveling abroad if I can't be different? So, it was a total mess up from that lady. But I told you, Kink. I told you not to judge a book by its cover. Don't judge someone based on what other people think. I told you this before. Accept the script. Go through it. If it's not good, you tell. At least flip like five pages. Go through it. You know if it's good or not. Then no one will judge you. Not after she insulted me the way she did. Oh, come on, gang. She's only a child. You know, she's clearly frustrated. This is someone you can just help. Please. See how you can help her. Really? Robert? I don't understand you. Why are you fighting for this girl this much? Is there something you are not telling me? No, please, King. No, I don't believe that. King, what is the essence of making money when you cannot help people? A money bag who cannot help people is a bag of bullshit. for all along that I didn't read this script. Okay, I read your script and I'm shooting it in two weeks' time. Oh my goodness. Could you please come to the house so that we could discuss the terms and conditions? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I, I appreciate. Thank you so much. What time do I, do I come? Anytime today. Just call when you are coming. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. I will be there. I, I, I I'll let you know when I'm coming, sir. One more thing. W what, sir? Never you try to pull the stunts you pulled the other day again. You might never be this lucky next time. Sir, I will never pull such stunts again. As a matter of fact, I was frustrated into doing it, but it will never happen again. It won't. Thank you, sir, for this opportunity. Thank you. Very well, then. See you soon. Okay, sir. Yes! <laughs> Sajama! Sajama! Who's the woman in your room? It's my woman, sir. The woman? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. sir it, 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 it will not happen again. Sorry, sir. Sajama, you mean after the warning I gave you the last time, you still have the gods to bring in a woman into this house? Sajama! Come on, Isao. So, this is what you do? Eh? This is what you do now? To the park women, they come per same house, Abi? What thing they worry you now? Eh? Why this you know, why, you why, why you know they will pack you? Eh? eh? If you don't come out, come at least, no go no say I carry woman come out. What thing be your own now? What is that one? What is that one? You they slap me? Sajama. Sir, it no go happen again, I beg. Sajama. Sir, it no go happen again. It no go happen again, sir. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. Why you 
I'll tell you. Well, what I am seeing right now on the screen is story by Inkiruka Uto. Screenplay by Inkiruka herself. Who am I? Well, girls, I am happy to announce to you that my script has been accepted and then work will commence in two weeks' time. Wow! <laughs> Sister, are you serious or are you playing? I am not playing, I am serious. I am not surprised at Inkiru wait. <laughs> Are you serious? Please, be serious. What is wrong with you? I am serious. Okay, fine. King just called me on the phone, and then he called me to tell me that he read my script, he likes my script, and he just accepted it. So, we'll start shooting two weeks' time. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, So happy. Oh, Mama will be so, so excited. I know. My sister is now a mm. fan script writer. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I am not surprised. Ah, I told you you were going to be great. And this is just the beginning. You're right, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you oh. so much. Oh. Oh, Thank you. How? Oh, so finally, King took my script. Who am I? Oh. I mean, who am I be? We need to celebrate today. <laughs> we need to celebrate today. Exactly. What are we going to go? What are we going to drink? <laughs> Well, in Kiroka. Sir. I won't lie. This is about the best script I've read since I returned back. Oh my goodness. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I just hope the other two will be like this one. Uh, sir, trust me. It will even be better than this. Really? Yes, sir. That means we're in business then. <gasps> yes. My YouTube channel just got monetized and I'll be needing a lot of content. I'll be needing like three movies on the channel every month. So you will write scripts until you start begging for a break. So I cannot beg for a break. This is an opportunity I've been yelling for. I mean, I'm, I can do it. It's not a problem. All right. Oh, uh, but we need to do an agreement. Okay. It's just that I just like everything being documented. Okay, sir. That's not a problem at all. Um, I'm good with it. So what are your terms and agreement? Because I would like you to be on set when, with the director when the shoot is going on. So what's your cost? Sir, for now, I do not have any terms. I don't even have any conditions not to talk more of cost. I will be on your set as long as they shoot my script till the end of shoot. I'm fine. Impressive. <laughs> Very impressive. All right. Already in business. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right. Feel comfortable? I have something to do inside. Okay. So feel free to leave anytime you're set to go. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks for Thank coming. Thank you, sir. My phone. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. See you around. director what brings you well there is something I want to ask you oh, really okay I heard you're starting a job soon how true is that how did you get to know about that I mean it's not like I've given out script to anyone yet so Surprised to hear this. You see, the industry is a very large one, yet very small. Okay? I'm tuned into the universe. I get whatever information I want to get. Interesting, I must say. Well, I'm actually planning for a shoot. That's the honest truth. I see. And I'm yet to get a memo. 
You see, the earlier I get a script, the better, because it will enable me to put things in order. Hmm. And who says uh, you will be the one to direct this movie? <laughs> who else can guarantee a better job? Hmm. You think so? It's what I know. Very well then. If you will be the one to direct it, I will let you know when it's time. Come on, boss. Are you saying you will have to think it through before giving me the job? Not really. Um, I don't know for sure now, sir. But I will let you know when the time comes. No matter what I meet, right on my way to see my destiny going on. How do you mean? Sir, I don't want anyone to misunderstand my choice. How do you mean? The fact that Director Carver's asked you not to use my script will make my opinion seem like um, it's out of sentiment. But well, you don't expect me to accept your opinion hook, line and sinker without evaluating it. Sir, I do not want to be caught between my truth and people's perception about my truth. Kiroka, stop being logical. Go straight to the point. What's your opinion? Sir, I commend Director Kavasam. Works. He is good, no doubt, no cap. But, sir, the truth is, um, he cannot direct my scripts because our vision does not align. That's just it. All right, I have no problem with that. Who do you have in mind? So, I would like the director to be a young person. You know, someone that has the same vision like mine. Impressive. So, when do I get to see the director? Or is he a lady? When do I get to see her? The young director is a young for your call but you didn't call so I decided to come you see this is something I don't usually do but I have to do this because you're somebody I want to work with well I didn't contact you because uh, you won't be the one directing this particular movie that's why you didn't hear from me it's okay it's okay no hard feelings, please. So, who is directing it? Well, uh, one of the upcoming young directors in the industry. Don't get it twisted, please. I trust the young man to do a good job. What do you mean by upcoming? Eh? You need somebody as competent as I am. Who can guarantee return on investment? Is him upcoming? Huh? I think uh, I do know what I want. And when I see someone who can actually give me what I want, I can connect to that. I trust the young man to do a good job. Oh, boss, 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 boss. No hard feelings. No upcoming. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. What do I offer you? Please, now you are in my place. I should offer you something. Don't worry. I, I have to run along. 
There is something important I want to attend to. I mean, you should take something at least for stopping by. Boss, don't bother. I'm fine. Really? <laughs> if you say so. Some other time. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Let me see your order. Okay. All right. Actually wondering if you were trailing me or something. Uh, it's so amazing how this my small little house have become very popular in recent times. <laughs> my boss, my boss, I'm, I'm not trailing you. I'm not trailing you at all. It's just I'm, I'm always lucky to be bumping into you most of the times, you know. Mm. Boss, tell me, was it in there for your boy? Eh? Mr. Needs. My boss. What do you want? What exactly do you want from me? Um, boss, boss, I heard you'll be producing a job soon, but I've not heard anything from you, you know? Boss, I've been calling you severally, but you're not taking my calls. I sent you SMS, but you never replied anyone. I even went as far as writing you on your DM on Instagram. But boss, I never see you at my side. Eh? Boss, check out now. Now from here, we still didn't take job. Just here. Eh? Boss, I beg. Show me love. Eh? Well, uh, you don't have to hustle too much like all the other up-and-coming artists in the industry. Uh, you are one of the lucky ones suggested by the script writer. Wow. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Boss, um, what be the name of the script writer? At least I can buy the person a drink. Oh, the script writer? You want to know? Yeah, I want, I want to know. Like, you really want to know? <laughs> Boss. Uh, what's that her name? Um, Inkiruka is the name. Yes, Inkiruka. That's her name. Boss, That's her name. you don't mean it? Yes, of course I do mean it. That's the name of the script writer. Wait, that means everything I've been hearing is true. She actually suggested me. Yes, of course. She did. You came highly recommended. She made me some reasons why you must be the one to play that particular role in this forthcoming movie. And I think at some point I connected with her and I was going to call you to that effect before you eventually bumped into me. You came highly recommended. Yes, of course you did. Nkiruka. Hmm. You don't know her? I, I, I do. My boss, I do. Oh, wait, wait, King. Finally, you're doing this. Hmm. What to do now? <laughs> there is no going back. I mean, after this one, I'm back to back. I know come Niger. Come look fine girls. No, you for look fine girls face. Singlets and I'll be just sleeping at night. Go carry go village. <laughs> back to back. What to do now? <laughs> Why you never want to do film now? Uh, now, businessman you be. King, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't get that kind of time. I don't get that kind of time. But, Look, we see how your own go go. At least shoot yours first. If it's fine, then I'll give it a shot. Hey, now you are talking. Better. See, I want us to take over this industry. Overtaking is allowed. Not so now. Nah. Uh, yeah, but meanwhile, who say you, you cast my girl? Oh, that. <laughs> I know you were going to come up with that. Actually, your girl was the first person the scriptwriter mentioned. Not to worry. Ah! King, King! 
Onyoma na back to back. Back to back. You wanna go? King back to back. What you go do? King back to back. Any matter. Nothing do you. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Yes, my name is Brandon. I just got back from the States. I'm an actor. You know, I've, I've featured in so many wonderful movies. I'm sure you must have seen me some um, one or two. <laughs> um, sir, I actually called you because I heard you starting productions next week. So I thought I should um, give you a call, you know? Exactly, sir. It's all right, sir. It's all right. Mugu. Mugu! Hey! Yeah, what's up, guy? Man, I'm tired of all this rubbish. Show. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of all. I managed to get um, five million naira from one of my girls. Okay? I'm going to use to pay for the car and um, get an apartment and, and furnish it. I, I, I'm tired of squatting with that sports brat. Man, that girl smokes like fish. And then she tries to bang the hell out of me. I'm done. Uh, listen, listen, listen eh? I, I, I'll, I'll, call, I'll call you back later. I'll, I'll call you back, I beg. Okay, okay, okay. I was so surprised when he called me. Sent me the script. Paid in full and immediately. I just had no choice. I even heard Ukidu influenced the casting. And so many things. I never expected that she would allow us be in that movie. Same here. And I almost did not accept the script when it came. But then, knowing full well that he is a new producer and with dollars. I mean, I had no choice. I just accepted. I thought you and your boyfriend said you only came to sleep around with women. How come you accepted the job? Are you talking to me? That means Brandon doesn't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> right. He described himself. Hot Coco. You need to leave that broke boyfriend of yours alone. That guy has got nothing to offer. He is broke. Will you shut up? Are you mad? Have you lost it or something? Oh, I see. I know your pain. You obviously pained because no role came to you. Not even Wakapas. Nothing came to you. All was for me. Who cares? I do not care about this job. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. And I can raise my shoulders and vouch for myself that I have never made out with anyone for roles. <laughs> I have never begged anyone for roles either. I get all my roles on merit. If I'm not on this job, I'll wait for another. Excuse me. You know what? I have no word for you. Because you're not even close to my class. Hey, Sydney. I do not ever want you to bring this thing to my house again. Because she's completely mannerless. Don't ever. Baby girl, she just made a valid point. She's right. Ah, oh, God bless you. You know what? I don't want this nonsense again. Take your two refresh of friends and get out of my house. What? I don't want you ever to come to my house again. Get out. Hot cook. I figured out. She's a hot girl. Hey, hey, hey. She's a hot girl. Hey. Hi. What did she say? Did she agree? You know I'm just going to use it just for one day. She said she can't do such business, no matter how much you are paying. 
Listen, maybe she does not understand what I am proposing. I just want to be addressed as the owner of the fashion house until my friend leaves. Just that. Please talk to him. I'm sorry, ma. She said no. Uh, hello? Hello? God, what do I do now? What do I do now? I am going to lose this man. Oh, God. Who do I call? Who do I call? Who do I call? Well, I'm shooting your second script immediately after this one. But yes, we have a couple of corrections to make. But that's not the problem, sir. I am here to do the corrections. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, I'll tell my cook to get you something to eat because we'll be doing it together. So you have a couple of hours to spend here. Okay, sir. So just relax. I'll be right back. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. shooting another script immediately after this one. Wow. You can say that again. This is good news. Of course. And then he just opened a new YouTube channel, which means we have a lot of jobs to keep shooting and we have to be doing more and more and often and often until the YouTube channel becomes busy. Hmm. That means he came back prepared. You can say that again. You know, that young man is actually a nice person. Guess I judged him wrongly. He's just a, a business-minded person, someone who wants something good and something of quality for his business. That's all. Hmm. Oh, this is very good. <laughs> I think, I hope this time around I'll get a role to play. Why not? Didn't you hear me? I just told he opened a new YouTube channel, which means we have a lot of work to do. As a matter of fact, this year is a year to better our careers. <laughs> yeah. Please just go to the kitchen. And enjoy yourself. We'll have a very good banger stew that will help you watch down the news. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. But you know what, girls? I mean, food is not my problem right now. I have a lot of work to do. What I have to do is go in there, grab my laptop, work on the adjustments of the script, and then submit it before King cuts off my head. Mm -hmm. oh, that's all I need right now. I am so, super excited. We need to watch this one down. Wow. Yes, we are excited. Our God has answered us in an excellent way. Yeah. Yes, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like, seriously? But seriously, Hot Coco. I can't believe that you allow yourself to gather like this. Huh? Never mind. It's my body and not yours. Girl, you're getting large. Can't you see? Honestly, you're getting more bigger by the day, especially your stomach. Yeah. Mark, Sydney, I am not complaining. You know what? I'll tell you. It is called evidence of good living. Really? I am so enjoying my money. Really? Mm. Yes. Evidence of good living. You better watch it. Watch it, Hoskoko, because you are really adding so, so bad. And it's not good for you. So, I have heard so you. Bad. It's okay. That reminds me, where, where is your PA? That one. I already sacked her. I do not wish to continue to work with her anymore. I need someone that is really educated. Someone who wouldn't make me shout or scream like a mad person. Hey! Makeup! Come here! I need fan, please. Who is your makeup artist? Isn't she the makeup artist? Girl, she's no longer the makeup artist. She is the one playing the lead on this one. Sorry, what did you just say? Like, how did it happen? Her best friend is obviously banging the producer. 
and I heard she goes there every day. Oh my God! Wait, that quiet girl. Mm -hmm. Brenda must pay for this. He's the cause of all this. I mean, I would have been the one playing that character and not the other way around. And who the fuck is Brenda? Huh? Wait. What? You mean that fake shit hole? Huh? Emirad has been telling her, but she wouldn't listen. Enough, please. Enough! Wait a minute. Is it that robot I'm seeing? Sure. That guy is a real G, man. You see that guy? That guy is in money. The moment I realized who he truly is, girl, I shock. Oh, I'm lost, though. I don't understand what you people are talking about. In money, how? <laughs> Baby girl, see that girl that you're seeing now? He has hotels, estates, businesses all over the country. I better keep quiet. What are you talking about? <laughs> Robert, hotels, houses, estates, how? I don't get it. It's a joke. That robot we all insulted, called names, is a multi-millionaire. What are you doing? I mean, how? Wait, you mean to tell me that this guy is in money? And that he came here and disguised himself? Baby girl, I, me personally carried out research on that nigga. The very day, King told me that they have been friends for so many years. That him being the king, that we thought that has the money, that he's a small boy compared to Robert's wealth. Go catch me, I cool, baby girl, like. <laughs> wow, woo. It shocked you. <laughs> it shocked me more than it shocked you. Mm. My God. Manala. Wait. Look at. Look at Robert. The poor low life dude we all disassociated from. He's a big fish, really. He shot a big man. A money. That guy has that money. That guy is a money. He's joking. rich. Hmm. I come out for that dude, man. I'm, I'm, I'm even more shocked than you are. She's a hot girl. Hey, hey, hey. She's a hot girl. Hey, hey, hey. I've got a good big person. Ah, my boss, my boss. Good morning, my people. Boss, I did Hello. How you doing? I can see you guys are doing good. Yes, yes, sir, are good. All right. Sorry, please, where are the filming? Uh, they are shooting inside. Inside? Yeah. All right, thank you. Life in the industry, fake life is now the order of the day. No one agrees to be struggling. Yeah. Come on, Sydney. Please just stop. This is not the end of the world, okay? You will definitely find a man who will love you for whom you are. <laughs> Never <laughs> Can you stop deceiving her and at least tell her the truth? Make her understand that when next she finds another man, she does not have to lie to him. Make her understand that she should be real and stop lying. Emerald, honestly, this is not the time to judge. So just stop it. I am not <laughs> judging. Why should I judge her? 
if not for the lies and the fake lives, we should have been planning a wedding by now. Maybe I would have found my man at her wedding. But she messed everything up with her lies and fake life. Sydney, look, the earlier you realize this, the better for you, girl. That sister of his, she's the cause of all this. That girl is a witch. I did everything, everything possible to make her accept the home service. But no, she wouldn't listen to me. See what she has caused me. And you bailed up on her at the last minute. <laughs> on her wedding day. Oh, Sydney. That was very wrong of you. You need to stop this old lies of yours and fake life. Jeez. Sydney. Sydney, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Alright? You will be fine. Trust me. Just keep your hope alive. Okay? When will I get someone like him again? When? How? Melody. Melody. Oh my God. The earlier you start telling Sydney the truth, the better for all of us. Will you keep quiet? Oh, please. You're consoling her. You better tell her the truth. <laughs> Good finish. Tell her the truth or else get ready to console her again. <laughs> Babe, judging from the way she reacted when you spoke about the pregnancy, one can conclude that she's pregnant. And were you thinking I made it up? Your so-called hot cocoa is pregnant. And I, I can bet you she doesn't even know the father of the baby. Shh, chica! Don't say that! Wait, how can a celebrity of that class be pregnant and she doesn't know who is responsible for her pregnancy? Let's watch out and see then. That girl is not as classy as she makes the whole world believe. I worked as a PA. I lived in the same house with her, so I'm in a better position to tell you. She's very classless. Ah! Hey! <laughs> Our celebrity said she's a hot girl. Hey, hey, hey. She's a hot girl. Hey, hey, hey. Have a good big personal. Hey, hey, hey. Have a good eye personal. Hey, hey. Look at her back. Look at her back. Nikki Menard. Down for garage. Everybody go to the hey, I honestly do not understand this rubbish going on here right now. I don't get it. So this is why you left your houses to my house. You don't have anything reasonable to do with your time. I suspected this the last time I saw you. But I said to myself that it's impossible. Old Coco can never be this careless. But with the rumor flying around, we decided to come see things ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now you've seen it. Hot cocoa. You mean something like this has been happening and you never mentioned it to us? For God's sakes, we are here for you. We are your friend. Oh, really? Yes. So you think you are my friend? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So in this little head of yours, you think you are my friend? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, darling. You are lost. You are. To answer your damn question, Hot Coco is pregnant and will soon be leaving singlehood. Do you have a problem with that? And who is the unlucky guy? Who sure. is the lucky guy? Don't mind Emerald and her big mouth. Oh dear. Well, it's Brandon. Brandon? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were joking, right? Oh my god. Do I have water in my mouth? Oh? Oh, Jesus. Coco! How could you? We told you that that Brandon guy is fake! 
How can you fall for someone like that? <laughs> you know, he's not only a bloody liar, he is broke. Oh, shut that up. That guy is for man. Shut up. When they can't have him, they call him fake. Jeez. It's quite unfortunate. Hot Coco, you fall my hand. Big time. What? 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 Well, I can see you do not have anything to do with your stupid time. That is why you left your stupid houses to come to my own house just for gossip. Now you take your miserable selves out of my premises and never come back again. Out! Hey! Get out! Cause Coco is now called Coco. I can call. What? My dear, we will leave. But seriously, you need to investigate that guy. Try and take him first. It's cool, girl. Yeah, Get a man and take him first. Then you can come talk to me. Huh? Get out! You stinking bitch! Out! Brandon is fake, but you, you want to have him. Everything is casted. What have I gotten myself into? Hi. You are evil. You lied to me. Oh, my God will punish you, Brandon. My God will punish you. I knew you wouldn't accept to date me if I told you the truth. But all the same, I am sorry. You're sorry for what? What are you sorry about? You this useless man. Now I am pregnant. How do I take care of the child? How do I take care of this baby? How? How's that my fault? I insisted we use protections, but you said no. If you are taking care of this, it wouldn't have gotten to this level. God punish you for that kind of way you just talk like you're crazy. Something they worry for head. This one not come up for celebrity, celebrity, something, no. Not be celebrity with them now, my brother. You must. Where's my money? Where are my five million naira? My money? I used to sort myself out. I'll pay you when I get it. You'll pay who? God go punish you. See, when I tell you, see, uh -huh. I know I know day to laugh with you. If you don't give me that, if you don't give me my money, I go lock inside her through a key. No, just don't just play with me. My hand earned money. You know what I do? Get the money. You know the stress where I stress myself? Not trying you. My money. Darling, listen. I am the father of your unborn child. We're family now. Okay? Ha! Ah! I don't enter one chance. Family go kill you! Brenda, family go kill you! See my God, he gonna judge you. God go judge you! I'm not that bad anymore. Anyway. I'm not that bad. So, you are finally switching over to blogging? What to do, my love? Since movie people do not know my words. We move. <laughs> my dear. What's up? Oh. Melody and Emerald. What's wrong have I done to you both? What? Why are you gossiping, my man? Why do you keep peddling rumors about him? Why? Why do you jealous me for crying out loud? Why? You should be praying for your own and not the other way round. Aren't you tired? Aren't you? I can see that this your pregnancy is getting into your brain. Kindly leave here before you regret it. Hot Coco. Hot Coco, honestly, you are shameless. What is wrong with you? Please leave. I mean you don't need this in your condition. Respect the baby in your womb at least. Shut up your dirty mouth. In fact, eh, may 200 thunder fire that useless mouth of yours. Look at you. You want to talk back at me. And you are supporting Emerald. The same quotes. The same stupid thing. That sold you wholesale to me. Huh? She told me how you lost your womb during an abortion. She told me. She also told me how you leaked that old man's anus because of 100,000 naira. Shameful thing. Shameful. And you're here talking back at me. Idiots. You let people deal with yourselves. Nonsense. Don't mind that she's lying. She's lying. You know I cannot do that. She's lying. Melody. Ah. Uh -uh. Why are you like you want to faint? And I said she's lying. You. you just ruined her. 
I've always known that this big mouth of yours will land us into trouble one day. I have betrayed my friend. I didn't know when I said it though. I didn't know. And Aunt Coco promised me that she would not say a word to anyone. Melody. Melody, please stop. You don't have to go. What about your career? Do you just want to throw everything away and leave? Please don't. I beg you. Sydney. I have to go. I mean, I can't, I can't stay under the same roof with Emerald. I can't. Melody, 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 please, I'm so sorry, please. I am so sorry, please don't go. Melody, I've said sorry a zillion times and I'll continue to say sorry until you forgive me. Please, my friend, please. Please forgive your friend. Just shut up. Melody, please. Oh. Stay with us. Stay with us, please. I beg you. Please don't go. It's okay. Never... Fine, fine, fine. I forgive you. <gasps> but Emerald, a friend who can do this to a friend is capable of killing. I won't do it again. Emerald, you've killed me. I won't do it again. You know what? I'm done. Have a good life. Excuse me. Melody, please. Are you happy now? Leave me alone. Are you okay right now? I am sorry. Emirad, I feel like slapping hell out of you. Oh, you disgust me. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello world, oh yes, it's your worldwide unlimited call call, call to the call. <laughs> Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right here? Oh my gosh, my husband to be is the best in the whole world. Goodness me, can you see the designer's wristwatches? You see diamonds? You see the designer's bag, the shoes. Oh my, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Look at my shoes. My outfits are amazing. Oh my gee. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just going to show you guys. Like, I'm so excited. I have the best man in the whole world. He keeps surprising me. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't worry, fam. Don't worry. Don't worry. You know what? Just um, after a week. I'm gonna do giveaways to all these designers' outfits. I'm gonna give it out to my sweet fans, my real fans. <laughs> all right, I love you guys, love you guys. That's it. Why are you? Where the hell is she? Oh, there you are. There you are. What is your problem? The little money that you are supposed to be saving to take care of our unborn child, you are busy lavishing them on show offs. Who the hell are you trying to impress? What is your problem? <laughs> I don't understand it. Have you lost your mind? Brandon, am I the one you're talking to like that? As what? I don't get it. Is it your business? The money I'm spending, is it your money? Why have I opened my gate for you? Bring this money. Let me start up a business. You said no. Bring this money. Let me start up something and pay you off bit by bit. You said no. But you're busy buying expensive gifts and cars in my name. Making everyone think that I have money. No one wants to help me. What is all this? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Look at how you're blabbing. Buying this and that. Uh -huh. If I choose to buy things with my hard earned money, what business of yours is it? What? You think it's by tying scarf, wearing glasses and doing fine boy? When there's no money in your pockets? My brother, if he pay you rich, go out there. Stand up like a, a, a real man, then you can talk to me. If not, don't talk to me, don't tell me that nonsense. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to hit me? Don't, don't, hit me! Don't mess with me. What will you do? Don't mess with me! Hey, listen, what will you do? What will you do? Try it! I'm just stupid! Girl, 
remember the cinema um, audition that I went for? We went for the last time. Yes, the one we auditioned for. They called me for script reading. And I passed. So now I'm doing the sublet of the Marvel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am so happy Ooh. for you. I didn't see this coming. Oh my god. My friend is about to become a, a superstar. <laughs> you can say wow. that again. Wow. <laughs> Sister, what about me? I auditioned too now. Ah, uh, sorry. If they did not call you, that means they did not choose you. But never mind. There are still other movies out there and then some other auditions. I'm so happy for you, my darling. You can say that again. Oh. That's how it just happened. I take back all the negative words I said to you. You're my superstar. No problem. <laughs> it's okay. Uh -huh. It's okay. <laughs> so, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Superstar. 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 <laughs> I want you to stop sleeping with those old men with my child in there. When you give back to my child, you can go ahead and mess around. But as long as my child is in there, I will not have you mess around with me. Is this a dream? Brendan, Brendan, you raise your filthy hands on me? And I will do it again. If you dare mess with my child, I will do it again. Brendan, you have messed with the wrong person. Brendan, you will pay for this. I will lock you up. How dare you touch me with those poverty stricken hands of yours? Or do your worst. I will deal with you. I said, do your worst, you ancient harlot. I will kill you in this house if I hear that you mess with my child in there. I will mess you up if I hear that you're sleeping around with my child in there. Put the call across. I said, put the call across. Ask them about me in Texas. I will kill you. I am the madman on the loose. Nonsense. Oh. I'm still surprised you trailed me to this place. Why didn't you wait till I get home if you knew you wanted to discuss something important? Well. I deliberately decided to follow you to this house. Because I intended involving your woman to help me beg you if you decide to turn me down. Such emotional blackmail. So what made you think that will work with me? Bro, well, let me just be plain with you. I need your help. Please. I, I, I don't understand. What do you mean by you need my help? Brother, forget about all this packaging. Forget about everything that I'm putting on here. I am broke. Very, very broke. I have done all sorts of things. Just to survive, just to level up. But nothing is working for me, nothing. I did Yahoo. Huh? Yes. It paid for some time, then it stopped. I also did sugar money. Yes. But you know the money they, they give us is not enough for the for the lifestyle we portray on the media. For the for the lifestyle we give our fans on Instagram is not enough. So please, brother, I need your help. I want to live. I want to ball like you. Please help me. You know, uh, first of all, I'm happy that you've chosen legit over fraud. I'll help you. What? Yes. Hey. I'll, I'll help you. Oh, thank you. Please. Help me again. Thank him. He has decided to help me. Hey. Thank you, brother. It's okay. I am happy for you. Thank you. Uh, please, what can I offer you? Um, anything. Anything. Anything, anything is nothing. Tell like exactly what you want. Okay. Uh, let me do soft. Alright. So, how's your friend, Vanessa? Oh, Vanessa. 
Sasha is fine. Should be told, Vanessa is more than a friend to me. She's more of a family. I mean, without her, I would have long gone mad even before you met me. She's an amazing friend. She's fine. She's okay. Well, I actually see it different. All those moments of setbacks was actually preparing you for something bigger and better. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me, sir. Are you aware that Vanessa is actually getting married to Robert? Mm. Yeah, the same robots that came for me and I said no. How's that a problem? I mean, you already said no to Robert because he's not your kind of man. It's not a problem. In all honesty, I am happy for Vanessa. I mean, she can have him. So please, if you do not mind, can we reverse back to a shooting discussion? Because I would like to focus more on my career for now. Thank you. So. I mean, I'm just wondering. Is there anything that will stop you from being my wife? Excuse me, sir. I, I didn't hear that. <laughs> of course, you, you heard me clear. I mean, you said no to Robert because you, you said he was not your kind of man. But now you have your kind of man seated right before you. So, you now say no to me. Yes. Wow, really? Wow. It's called for celebration. <laughs> wow. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no matter what I meet, right on my way to see my destiny going on. I'll keep on going on. It doesn't matter all the obstacles I meet, I will keep on going on, going on. There is no time.